Hello, hello everybody. Today we will be continuing our Legend of Spyro playthrough with the Legend of Spyro, the Eternal Knight. And this is pretty much where I think I know next to nothing about this game. That's a neat little one. I miss little animations like this. Where they're like, hey, let's make a unique, like, logo animation for this game that we're making. Ooh! This is very Lord of the Rings. Immediately. And this music. I am already digging this. And is that two moons to the right? Well, considering that the skybox was fucked in a, uh, Enter the Dragonfly and there were two moons, maybe this is just canonizing that. I'm kind of interested. On the one hand, the trailers could be spoilers. I can On the one hand, trailers could be spoilers. There's no actual intro and I don't want to be too spoiled. <laughs> but from Twitch chat... Here we go, Eternal Knight never played it myself. I saw a little bit of the game and it got improved pretty good compared to New Beginning, so I think you might like Eternal Knight even more than New Beginning. I would assume so because it seems like this is very much, we're gonna take the stuff we did in New Beginning and improve upon it is what I get, is the kind of vibes I get from this. And I definitely hope that they follow through and are able to make it be that good. Because, like, even the original Insomniac trilogy kind of did the same thing. Here's Spyro 1. Here's Spyro 2 where we built off Spyro 1. That They made the slow-mo a lot cooler. I'll have to try doing, uh... I'll have, I'll have to try, uh, blah, blah, blah. What's the word? Yeah, what is the word? Uh, air combos more, because I think that's where the slow-mo really kicked in. But also, I find it kind of interesting because A New Beginning's opening screen began with, like, very nice, like, fantastical music, while this is very dramatic music. <laughs> so, well... Not much else to say. I guess I'll quickly go over my thoughts on New Beginning very, very quickly. I think it's really good. Personally, I think it blows Enter the Dragonfly and A Hero's Tale out of the water. Because while there were a minor little quibbles I had with certain parts, like some enemies kind of got a lot of hits off, like, it still was a lot of fun. The infinite de like the infinite lives feature in a new beginning was a lot better than Hero's Tale because it felt like an actual design decision rather than, well, an excuse to make worse design decisions. Well, if the player dies a lot and they're able to go right back into it, then we can make all the bad decisions. Very annoyed with a Hero's Tale design there. The boss fights were pretty cool. And it's just like, even though it was a beat-em-up, it still felt like Spyro. There was still platforming. They still had crystals. Elijah Wood was good. David Spade was David Spade. And I, it'll be interesting to hear who replaces David Spade. Because I think I was told that this game's Sparks should be the guy who voices Fry in Futurama. So that'll be interesting. Ooh, there are some collectibles in this game, I think. Then this, <laughs> then, then I can just only imagine like uh, the developers listening to uh, the people complaining about uh, the first game. They're like, "Blag, there's no, it's not a collectathon anymore." So like, okay, we'll put collectibles in the next game. I, I think that's, I think that could be funny. But enough, enough. We're going to begin. Let. It'll also be interesting because we're actually going to have Cinder in this game from the start. I think. So, it'll be interesting to see how she is as a character, because she did not... Uh, Cinder didn't get a lot of screen time in the last game. Which is sad, because her design is sick, uh, except for Tiny Cinder's head. Tiny Cinder, it was like Spyro-sized Cinder, her head was kind of, I don't know, 
was kind of bird-like. It, it looked a little weird. We'll, we'll probably see it get updated in this game, more than likely. All right, that's a little bit ominous. That looks like the upgrade screen from the first game, but darkened and broken. Then again, Spyro did use up all his power and needed to rest to get it back. Already liking the vibe of this? It's like storybook opening. Sierra Entertainment presents... A Chrome Studios production. This is very cool. The Legend of Spyro, the Eternal Knight in the Moon symbol. There was cool. I think I heard that exact same kind of musical build up before. Oh, we're getting cutscene power this time, I think. Very cool. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And are those freaking planets? Okay, this is a cool thing. Starring Elijah Wood. <laughs> that definitely sounds like Fry. I've got to save her. What? Save the beast who's been trying to kill us? That Honestly, it, d it definitely fits Sparks a bit more than David Spade, I gotta say. Kevin Michael Richardson. This is a very nice cutscene. Mae Whitman. Now we can go. And Gary Oldman as Ignitus. I always say it like that. It's like Nitus. Is that the Dark Master whispering? What was even that? Was it? Was that just random meteor? Thanks, Spyro. Some night, huh? Just you. What is it you want, Sparks? Huh. Why do I have to want something? I'm just ready to begin the best day ever now that the evil psycho she dragon is gone. What? Cinder? Yeah, she's. What happened? What do you mean, Sparks? Whoa, calm down, big fella. Gosh, you're on intense. Hm, haven't been sleeping much? You should listen to Voltaire tell one of his stories. That'll put anyone to sleep. Also, why is Spyro sleeping out here in the opening? Okay, you ready? I got up to get some fresh air. Since I don't sleep much myself these days with uh, the female fright hanging about, lo and behold, there she was, sneaking out into the garden. Mm. She gives me the creeps, dude. Me and my teeth. Well, come on. Kind of amusing, but how can she be scary? It's dangerous for her to be outside the temple at night. It's dangerous for any of us to be outside at night. Yeah, Besides, we have to go help her. Nidus said you have to wait till your powers return. <laughs> Stage direction. No Whisper. time to argue. Come on. Uh, <clears throat> you'd be helpless without me. <clears throat> I better come with you. I like I like this performance of Sparks. They changed the health bar quite a bit. I do like this. I like this a lot. From YouTube chat. I haven't played this game, so I probably won't watch uh, the rest of the spot streams. Oh, that's fine. I want to experience the Eternal Night and Dawn of the Dragon, so I won't be around till say. Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. That's perfectly fine. I'll probably watch the opening cutscene, but that'll be about it. Perfectly fine. Let's see. I wonder why Cinder went out into the darkness. We'll have to see. Is she plotting? Didn't seem like it. She seemed very friendly in small form, but no idea why we're... Zoopity dooping around the, the giant dragon statue. I guess cinematography. Hmm. Use the right analog stick to move the camera. Gotta be. Oh, I guess that's one of the collectibles I was told about. It looks like a, a feather quill. You have collected an enchanted scriber's quill. Collect more to unlock new pictures in the art gallery. I miss when games had these kind of things. Simple collectibles to get simple unlockables. It was very nice. 
Oh, you might also like the camera change. It's more out now. Ooh, I didn't even notice. But yeah, like, this is probably the one downside to Cinder not having much screen time in the first game, because we don't have much grasp on her personality. Because at most, it was like she was standing around as Spyro woke up, and then she was just like, what is it, Spyro? He's like, I have a bad feeling about things. So it's like... I don't know, it's just like... Uh, it does feel like... It, I just wish there was, again, a little bit more to... The new beginning. Or, yeah, new beginning. Quiet. We mustn't wake them. We have what? to sneak on by. Can't hear you over all this snoring. Come on, Smarks, quit being mean. Why are we sneaking so close to him? Do dragons just not have beds in this world? Everyone mumbles in their sleep in this world. Ah, uh, you're gonna be awake, aren't you? Because you're not snoring. But I do like Spyro's little sneaking animation. I kind of wish that it was a sneaking mission, because playing through the sneaking would have been kind of neat. That's a camera shake. Jesus. You'd think that we would have, like, uh... I don't know. I'm not sure if, like, all this vegetation is meant to be here. Well, apparently not, because this door is just annihilated. How did... How did Cinder get by? Ooh. We really are weaker. We can't do our triple twirly whirl. Hold O to knock enemies into what the air. I'm fairly certain that it is a, like, uh, what was it? That frog nom nom monster? Yeah, toad weed. Ooh. While Spyro might have lost some power, he has gained the skill of air combos. His air combo game is much, much, much more. Get out of there, so I can kill you. Aha, take this. Ooh, we even get to follow him now. Very neat. Press X twice to double jump. Hold X after jumping to glide. Oh, hey, I see more collectibles. When it comes to collectibles in, uh, oh, I guess I'm not meant to be able to stand on that, even though that looks definitely stand onable. Like, uh, I, are they telling me I'm meant to glide over here? Hmm. There's a perfectly suitable mushroom head to stand on. Why would I go for the rickety branch? But yeah, I like little collectibles in games. And when they're done nicely, not rudely, and are, like, done in good faith, I suppose, I do enjoy actually going out of my way to collect them. It just feels fun. Oh, hey, Cinder, how'd you get here? It's dangerous. You shouldn't have followed me, Spyro. I think her voice changed, too. See ya. Please, don't make this harder for me than it already is. Still a nice voice. I'm leaving, Spyro. <laughs> Her head's still a little weird, but I can get used to it. After all I've done, all I've put you through, I can't stay. Cinder, nobody blames you for what happened. Except Sparks, and he's an idiot. Yeah, I do. Speak for yourself. Sparks. No, Sparks is right. You should never admit that. Every day that goes by, I'm reminded of it. Spyro, your place is here. Your destiny is here. But mine is somewhere out there for me to find. Cinder... I don't want you to go. Goodbye, Spyro. You know he's gonna follow you because he is good old Elijah Wood, boy. Now, can we finally get some sleep around here? You think Spyro would be able to sleep after that? He's a good guy. Hey, was this Twitch always there? They actually animated the Twitch. What? The stress finally got to him. It's dark out, man, and I don't like it. Hello? What happened? <laughs> he just, just toppled on over. 
I almost feel like Sparks is a little bit more of a jerk than the last game. Though I, uh, I guess we could chalk that up to him being super stressed. <laughs> Rip Spyro, game's over. That would be darkly hilarious. Oh no, a dreamscape. Is this, is this going to tie back to the dark voice that was speaking to us in the reanimated like ending of the first game that's an intro to this game? Which actually kind of makes sense because it was him Hello? having a dream. Is anyone there? Do not be frightened, young dragon. You are not alone. Who are you? What I'm not sure if I trust you. I have summoned you here so that you might be warned. Interesting voice. Celestial moons. Are counting down Celestial moons. To the eternal night, I guess. Oh, great. The Lich King vo whispers are back. Make it stop. Ah, congratulations. You stopped time. Uh, all right. We're, we're inception timing this, I guess. Ha, <laughs> it took... Crash Bandicoot years, decades to get this power. I had it back in the GameCube. Jeez. <laughs> Spyro has the power of time? He's a chronomancer? What? Manipulation of time is not to be done without the utmost care. So I'm guessing... Ooh, it's a thing we get to control? Alright, this is cool. Ah, shit, ah, shit, ah, shit. That is very, very cool. This is a cool mechanic. Ah, shit, I don't... Oh. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is a very cool mechanic. Oh, it's a it's a seesaw. Didn't expect that. This is a very cool mechanic. I wonder how useful it is like during combat. Maybe for dodging certain attacks? Ooh, the possibilities are actually quite interesting. This is like that vision pool. And what is my true calling? I used to have them. Right now, your powers lay dormant with I used to be uh, quite the terrifying Save elementalist. If we might not awaken. Again, not too sure how I trust this guy. This voice. Clear your mind, Spyro. Feel the fire that flows through your veins. Allow its heat to consume you. I mean, he is trying to power us up, so maybe he's good? Now, rise up. It's just that the, the voice... It's just that the voice from the portal that Cinder opened. At least I presume that's what it was. A little weird that this voice is able to just reawaken my dormant powers. You have reawakened the fire element within Spyro. Follow the floating platforms to test your new abilities. Press up to select the fire element in the future. <gasps> Does it... Oh, uh, I wonder if that's because we had the... Nope, the breath is now a rechargeable resource. Oh, that's nice. I wonder if that means they rebalanced it to... Accommodate for the player having it more. And the camera seems to squash a bit more. Ooh, okay, I'm really liking the vibe of things. 
press and hold square to toast your foes with flame. <laughs> the Hunter Pleasure the Charmer. What kind of name is that? Also, these guys are made of stone. How am I burning them to rhyme? Mecha Spring? I can't believe we killed the Gundam. Oh, the, this is like super cool. Even if this feels like, I don't know, Mordekaiser's Realm of the Undead. Comet Dash? Comet Dash, you say? Ooh. Very interesting. So you change that up, that'll be kind of nice. The projectiles were a bit finicky in the past game, and I basically just used it to cheese enemies with the, uh, the Earthshaker power with the tornado. <laughs> so maybe this will be a bit you nice for combat. Use Spyro's fire to light the magical torches. But yeah, so far, I am digging the changes here so far. There's still the regular charge, that regular charge that I hardly ever used. Like, still kind of cool that it's there, but they didn't, they used it for like one thing in the tutorial and then never again. <laughs> Or maybe, well, th there was that icicle runaway chase. So I guess twice. It was used twice in the game. That seems like a... Red gems will refill your red health bar. Huh, then what other gems would there, will, will there be? Green gems will refill your green magic bar. Ah, I guess it's not actual refillable. It's just refillable because this is the tutorial, probably. Collecting blue spirit gems will give you the power to upgrade your breaths. Press select button at any time to enter the upgrade screen. Very interesting. Ooh, I think I'm going... This is. I already like this. I already like this quite a bit. It's a bit more straightforward. Then the last one, a bit more clear. I do like that. Blazing Fire Blast! Burn the bad guys with a fuller, hotter breath that won't fizzle out. Interesting. So, yeah. wonder what that is. If the breath regenerates or if that's... Because obviously they, it has to refill somehow, so... Because there are gems, so I presume it's not infinite. I think it's only refillable in the dreams. Hmm. I guess I guess that makes sense. This is a dream world. The music that's playing here is kind of neat. Like the big planet there. Kind of interesting. Other planet. Uh, looking back, these platforms kind of remind me of the... <laughs> In-between world place we were fighting Cinder. So again, I'm worried about this voice. When you defeat enemies, they will release purple fury gems. Fill your fury bar and press R2 to unleash your fire fury. Fun alive. The infinite power of death. The combat seems a bit more forgiving, a bit more quick. Then again, it could be that just this is the tutorial and it's teaching us. So we'll have to wait and see. Now let us burn the power of cinematics, you fools. Burn in blaze. Ooh, this is cool. <laughs> and one guy survived anyway. I've been cheated! Ah, maybe we can. Those are giant books over there. I was gonna comment on the double dragon statues and be like, Oh, maybe we can trust this guy. Because... He has two dragon statues. 
but then I saw the giant fucking books in the background. I don't know, that's... This seems oddly... That just seems odd. I don't even think we've seen books in this game series yet. Like, uh, there, I don't think there were any books in A New Beginning. Suddenly, giant books. Okay. I also do like the fire embers that coat this place, because we're learning the firepower. Is this going to send me back to the world of the waking? Oh, mystical voice of weirdness. You have done well. And now, it is time for you to return. But, be careful, Spyro. The enemy approaches. I will laugh if the enemy is you. You still haven't told me who you are. You shall know me as the Chronicler. I guess that explains the, the books. Nice tree. But again, it was like, the enemy draws closer. By the way, that enemy is me. <laughs> that, that, that would, I would find that hilarious. But so far, that tutorial was very nice. Like, it's interesting where dedicated tutorial like levels like that hello, aren't hello, bad to hello, me. Hello. But when they interrupt hello, normal hello. gameplay, hello. tutorials are annoying. Kind of like Sparks there. Did you just stand there saying hello, hello, for however long I was asleep? Something is happening, Sparks. I can't explain. Well, yeah, you fell asleep. No kidding. Right here. Catatonic, this whole place has been hooting and howling. Listen. That doesn't. That? Oh, hey, invasion! The Sky Fiends are here. Also, I think you are you actually obtain all the other breaths in a different order now. Well, at least that'll be interesting. Electricity is the final breath because it's overpowered. I think that'd be funny. The others are still sleeping. We need to get back. Are you crazy? Do you want to run towards the danger? I mean, that's what we've been doing for a whole game now. Come on. Ugh, I liked you better when you were sleeping. But now I can slow down time. I thought the Oh, it's cuz that 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 doorway got closed. I find it funny that Sparks d probably doesn't comment like, "Oh, hey, you have your breath attack back." <laughs> Where'd that come from? Well, they look like assassins. I thought you didn't want to fight. Or at least you two can fight and I'll watch. Yeah, that's what you always do, Sparks. Think what the hell? Quit comboing me. I don't even know what you are. Thinking I wanted to throw that into him. Throw him into his ally. But then he moved. He dodged. Like an intelligent little monster. Oh yeah, I forgot I can also do that. And apparently they can too. All right, the dash is pretty cool. Are you gonna fight me now, big man? Uh, jumped precisely not where I was. Oh, there's ice attacks? Oh, that's not good. Get blasted. I, I do not need to experience ice, I am a dragon.
Ow. Oh, I ran into fire. Me dumb. <laughs> I just wanted to see. I do like that the air combos are like a bit more substantial. But it definitely looks like we won't be pushing this all the way. Get out of here. We'll come over here to beat up the other guys. Ooh, I can full combo these guys, or at least some of these guys to death. Ah, uh, it's gonna fall and break that now. Ah, uh, I see. It's still also very impressive that these guys have explosive drop pods. And yet they survive. Oh, we can do it kind of in the air. Neat. I also do like that we're kind of, <laughs> kind of, sort of, seeing the sanctuary from the outside, seeing a bit more of the vibes, the architecture. Seems pretty cool. Hey, look at this. Look at what? I don't even know which way you went. He just said, hey, hey, look at this, and just disappeared to realms unknown. But I want to look around, because if any places to have hidden secrets, it might be here. It doesn't look like it, though. I am the third statue. Ah, I see you. I see you. I see what you're putting down. And somehow Sparks kept up with us. Also nice to know that my dashes utilize the green gems. I am liking the feel of this. It feels like they definitely ironed out some stuff, made it feel a bit more flowy. And then they fell to their death. Oh, didn't see that coming. <laughs> from YouTube stream, uh, uh, yeah, from the YouTube chat. Hey there, Neon. Sorry, I missed the stream yesterday. No problem. The vods are catching up to the streams of how I'm uploading them, so the that one should go up. In like three days, I think? If my counting is good? How dare you blow out the birthday candles of doom. Oh, I can kind of bounce them back. Time to get air comboed, idiot. Where your friends can't hurt me. I also like that they're putting... Oh, that's actually cool! Now that they have different, like, uh, crystal clumps for different purposes, now they're able to put, like, oh, you want to restock your ammunition? You can do that more. Compared... So they don't have to worry about you, like healing up too much or something. It's like, I don't know. Seems to, ooh. And it even shows you how much you'll get for the amount of experience you put in. More nice upgrades. I am enjoying this. But don't tell me that my masters have gotten caught again. I've only had them for a few weeks. What the hell are those things? <laughs> okay, I think they're nat the nature. The nature is fighting back. 
probably not from on my side, but immediately going for the throat, aren't you? Oh hey, is this going? I have a feeling. I see you, Quill. What the fuck kind of spider noise is that? <laughs> what? Oh, that was cool. Uh Kind of cool that they actually have dedicated stun animations. But these things are horrifying. Did I not kill you? Alright, maybe I just need to burn them to death. I don't know. Hmm. Where are those other spiders bungle off to? <laughs> but I guess now I understand why the the forest is dangerous at night. Nightmare spiders. What the fuck? Freddy Krueger on a snail? Out. I dare. Oh. Ooh! Ah, that's where it went. Out. I was messing around with the controls. And then I can use my dash as a minor escape. Definitely interesting. How's that? Almost sad. He died with his snail. Yeah, this is a very nice intro. It definitely feels like there's things at stake. I wonder, can I just dash through? I kind of can. Neat. Ah, hell. Time for a double combo. Kinda, sorta. Ow. They're kinda smart. Get out of here. But I do kind of like that it seems that Spyro retained his fighting training and only lost his breath powers, as it is meant to be. Yeah, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Don't want <laughs> I guess they don't want you to My bad, I probably should have I probably should have ran. I didn't expect it to crumble. Here we go. Looks like we'll have to do that fight again, oh well. But I do like that they kind of mixed up the enemy designs a bit. Go flying! Weirdo animal monster. The music is again very, very nice. Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting you to run after me.
Well, Battlemaker, I shall use you for a battle. Go hit your friend. Unless he dodged away. Many monsters always do that, how dare. But I do feel like <laughs> air combos are gonna be the bread and butter of this game. I'm gonna send you off the cliff. Go! I am very much enjoying this. The vibes are just nice. Although it would have been very nice for her Cinder to stick around, maybe help us fight all this. Slowly getting there, well, like a third-ish, eh, kind of like 40% uh, away, I'd say, from leveling up my fire breath. Also, why is the sanctuary so big if we all don't use it? <laughs> ah, great, the big, big man. The shocked expression. I send your dog back to you. Assassin man. All right, he has his... Dang it. Throw you around. Now that I know, air combos are the way to go. Dang it. But it does feel like the AoE attacks have a bit more of a tell to them. So <laughs> they're not gonna uh, absolutely annihilate my day, I don't think. Just gonna keep a close eye on that so I can upgrade as soon as possible. Open sesame. A part of me goes it would be kinda neat if like part way through Spyro is captured and we have to play a cinder to save him. Because I want to like Cinder as a character. Almost. We're almost there. Probably shouldn't be wasting that. We might head forward a little bit and one of those are shit. I went through expecting a hallway. There kind of was and wasn't at the same time. A hole. Oh, and then hold the yeah, for... Horn slam. I forgot that I can do that. Almost there. There we go. Ah, shit, spiders. Beyblade spiders at that. How dare. gonna blast you. I do like that throwing them into things just utterly annihilates the things. Hey, get up so I can smack you. Hmm, I guess uh, enemies at low health, if they get up from a, uh, a stun, like... 
get a get a bit of health back. Which isn't terrible, I guess. Air combos rule. Air combos fool. <laughs> and then I just kind of smack him while he's down. Unless somehow you survived that. Ah, oh, you somehow survived that. How dare. Have to go overkill on you spiders. Get at <laughs> For some reason, my brain just went, wouldn't it be kind of funny if, like, the riding was bad and Cinder was just like, I have to go, goodbye, and then is just never seen again? Oh, that would just be evil. Because, like, hey, here's a potentially cool character. You'll never see her again. Oh, come on. I was killing you. Be gone. All right. What is down there? Let me guess, does this bridge fall if I cross it? No. But there's a dragon emblem thing down there, and I wants it. There we go. A rumpteen fire blast. Magical dragon whelps burst forth from the flames to seek out in your enemies and roast them. That's super cool. All right, what the hell are you? You have collected a health relic. Each one you collect will increase Spyro's health bar. Hell yeah! Oop. Jesus, these things are very weak. All right, I'm gonna have to keep my eyes out because I want these collectibles. See Spyro, <laughs> Spyro a hero's tail and enter the dragonfly. This is how you do collectibles. And this isn't even a collectathon. Ooh, if you regularly pause, you can see the collectible count. Oh, dang it. I thought you died. How dare. I didn't overkill him. Please, die already. So let's see. Three out of 40, one out of five, and I guess that's magic breath. Hmm. Very cool. And I see a quill. Makes me wonder how many of these I'm going to miss because they're just in innocuous places. Oh, dang it. Not. There we go. Just had to... Hold the first jump a little bit. Like, even if it is just for concept art and stuff, I think it's cool. Uh, the camp I guess that is an earthquake going on. Okay. I was wondering what was going to happen when I fell in there. Apparently these are evil brambles. As evil as this goddamn spider. How about you go into the brambles, idiot? Apparently it survived. And then it died. And then the brambles ate. <laughs> ate my gems, alright? So... Do not go for collateral kills unless I have, like, the lightning breath this game. Or maybe they changed up the lightning breath so that it's less reliant on stage kills and the player is more incentivized to actually fight their enemies. Is a big thing going to come out and eat the... Alright. <laughs> I saw the breakable behind it. I was, like, wondering, hmm, is evil going to... Come? I got hit out of the air by a spider? Or no, that was... It was the, the snail. 
I'm just going to, like, <laughs> strafe you and air combo you to death because of that. How dare. I was mid-air combo. You could have lived. You could have lived a long time. Instead, you chose death. Hmm, it seems like a lot of enemies, if comboed down from an air combo, get a second chance at ya. Hmm, I want to try if this one. How dare you? I want to see. Nope, that one just died. Uh, more earthquake? <laughs> it's funny because the earthquake shake feels almost like a normal, the camera's bugging out shake, so sometimes I'm not sure what is what. We'll have to look around this room because there might be collectible. Well, but it doesn't look like it. Ah, Roto invading me on Twitch with a raid. Hello, hello. I be playing some Legend of Spyro Eternal Night. And so far, it, the vibes are immaculate. Music nice, graphics nice, gameplay much improved from the first one, which is always nice. Hope your stream went well, Roto. Ah, shit, Dynamite's coming to kill me. Uh, I'm gonna dodge away. <laughs> it's almost like that Dynamite had a, had a mind of its own. Okay. <laughs> All right, Assassin Man, I'm here to kill you. What kind of name is Rotleap anyway? I shall annihilate you. Seriously, how do these evil monkey men have such stores of dynamite? <laughs> it seems beyond them in this world of dragons. Uh, went fine, made solid progress. New to this whole raiding thing and almost forgot to do it. That's a mood. It's difficult. Ah, I see things down there. It's probably mandatory. But you can never tell. I'm not even sure if there's, like, fall damage. Or if that's just, oh, he fell a long way. Just, like, acknowledgement. Again, why is our sanctuary so big, cryptic, and decrepit? I know I've only had it for, like, a few weeks, but still. Ah, uh, great, another big guy. Immediately knew I existed. Darn it. I want to air combo you, wild tracker. Haha. <laughs> just fell off the cliff. Darn. I love the air combos. But yeah, the, the combat feels a lot more smooth compared to the previous. Which is really nice to see. They weren't resting on their loyal, their loyals, their laurels. That's what it was. Okay, cool. I can kind of cancel out of my combos a bit easier to deal with that. Whoop. I should. I wonder if I should use my time manipulation in combat more. I did it! Darn it! I want to kill your little men, so then I can do this to you. <laughs> he did a shimmy. He was like, oh no, the purple dragon is coming for me. That I am, Mr. Big Man. Mr. X Fick. Into the building you go. Because why not? Darn it. How dare you hit the ground when you're not even on the ground, big old man monster. Darn it. I am now being attacked by a gang of monkeys. Oh, nope, nope. I'm not turning to ice today. Get 
some health going. I'm after you, big man, Mr. Grimblade. Definitely fits your occupation. Then again, how do you even make an ice like bomb? Like I know I could make an ice bomb. Well, it didn't even I, not even I could make an ice bomb. I just shot icicles when I had ice breath in the last game. <gasps> Nimrod lost touch. Like, are these just the names Spyro is thinking of in his head? Is is this Sparks making running commentary? And Spyro, the mauve one, is beating up at a lot Raven Killer. And that's why there's just a lot of repeat names. Sparks just doesn't have much imagination. This is a forest of nightmares, and it's just not letting up at all. And again, why do these spiders have such guttural nightmare sounds? Ah, they both came down. I shall smack you into your friend because I can. At least I'm gonna try. Yep, and then you get a second win. That was nowhere near me, Mr. Greenthorn. Guess I'll just let you drop to the floor. Hmm. But I wonder what this mechanic of them getting like a, a second wind sometime is. Maybe if I beat them too quickly, the game is like, nah, 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 <laughs> you need to suffer more. <laughs> the enemy came all this way to beat you up. Now give him a chance. Figured not. But we obviously need to go this way. I wonder if they just disabled my climbing mechanic a little bit so they could force me to fight them. And then we just go in along happily. We're not in a, a race against evil time. Why is there just so much doom and evil? Is this... Again... Is this why they told us to not leave the f go into the forest at night? Because utter war breaks out every single night. All right, I do like that. Sparks kind of acts as a guide, like, hey, hey, uh, you should probably go this way. Projectiles are so freaking fast. These guys have secondary health. Darn it. Stop. Stop. Darn you. I just wanted to get health. Oh, what the huh? Uh huh. Sure. Okay. I went on a mad trip. Darn it. I gotta engage quickly. Away from the... Stop stunlocking me. You stupid spider. That is player behavior. Not AI. NPC monsters. Ah, darn it. And that just takes out a lot of... Dang it, stop. I'm gonna die to this frickin' sniper spider. Now, please. Do not do too much damage. Big ol' Spider-Man. I was getting zoned out by the goddamn spiders. That was close. I 
Ah, I see. I need to load the ballista of doom. Darn it, game. I got stuck on the geometry. Now, don't mind me. I'm just going to flank the, the snail as much as possible. So that it can't retaliate against me. You may have heard of the anime Spider Riders, but now get ready for the next anime, Snail Riders. Oh, Jesus! Now, I just realized I probably could have just used my Flame Fury against the spiders back there to ease up my my pain and misery, but I wanted to really fight them. And save my Flame Fury for actual tangible danger of doom. Who even set up this ballista? Maybe it's from a remnant of, like, the kind of sort of war that happened when the Dark Forces invaded the first time before Spyro hatched, maybe? It's hard to tell. The Nightmare Forest reminds me of uh, Evertree Forest from Friendship is Magic. That's true. Except this is far more living up to the legend that they described. Quit making weird noises, assassin monkey man. I'm just beating up your minions and you're like, just being weird over here. Uh, not exactly what I wanted. Darn it. I need to move. Oh, hey. Neat. The... The tail combos... Knocks the... The da da does away, too. Neat. Again, just... Always interesting to see names like Blood Dive on these guys. Just not what you expect. Now where's the other guy go? Or did he fall to his death by accident? I think he might have just fallen to his death when he tried to follow me. That is immensely amusing to me. But yeah, the vibes is just very good. Just looking around to make sure there aren't any, like, potential collectibles. Well, that's a very main game. <laughs> you obviously have a platform for the player to kind of go back and you put a root in the way. How dare. Man, those roots that fall the second you touch them. Those drive up my anxiety. Into the... Hey, isn't this the cave we found Ignitus the first time? Man, just... Things are not going good over here. Where are the other ones? Where's Terador, Voltir? Come on, you were doing... Like, in your narration in the first game, you said that things are going actually quite well. And then Cinder, like, turned the tide. So surely these guys are of no matter to you. Man, these are terrible assassins. <laughs> Did he just jump off? Are you going to do your own Fire Fury Ignitus? No, just Tail Slap. I do like the dedication to showing off his skills. Especially because in the first game, the cinematography was kind of bad for it. 
But it seems like he's going to be overwhelmed here. That's not good. Come on, I'd be able to beat them all up. Get down here, young <laughs> Lol. Get down here, young dragon. Gets clotheslined in the neck. And the music that's playing is super nice. If I get to play this, I am immediately Fire Fury. Come on, let me play this. I want to beat him all up. Oh, but no, he gets to do it. Stealing my thunder. I do like that he gets to do it too, though. Oh, did he just fucking die? From the YouTube chat, what's up? An invasion on the sanctuary again. Although we've yet to find out why this is called uh, the Eternal Night just yet. I wish there were more enemies to justify me using my Fire Fury. Get out of here. The skybox is really nice in here. Huh, you survived. I thought you died. Yeah. <laughs> and is this going to be where we fight our first air fiend? I forget what you're called. I just remember like something fiend. You're on your own with this one, fella. This one? <laughs> How is that different than the last one? Or the one before that? Prepare to die. <laughs> huh? Something about preparing to die. Either that or he wants you to repair a pie. Ow. Press and hold to use Spyro's ranged fireball. Oh, dang it. Alright. They're throwing something new at us. Was not expecting this to be uh, gameplay, but hey, kind of cool. It's kind of like the final phase against Cinder, except against just a normal guy. Was not expecting it, that's why I got hit there at the first time, come on. Up. Oh. Interesting. I do like it's a bit more tactical than... Ah, dang it, I almost got two hits on him. Almost. One more hit and you're down, assassin man. Get out of here. Where'd the flame go? You haven't seen the last of me. Like what, are you going to be a reoccurring ba bad guy? I'm just going to assume you said it was great meeting you and have a nice day. In which case, we thank you. Ah, uh, good. Ignitus isn't dead. But he does seem quite scarred. Battle scarred. Where's Cinder? She ran away. She felt quite guilty over everything. See anything, Ignitus? No. I can't see where Cinder has gone. Just darkness. Where From the Eternal Night? Cinder. Darkness. Aren't they the same thing? Oh, hey, it's the tree from the Chronicler. This is the chamber. I see it. At the base of the great tree. Seems quite spark uh, like spiky at the bottom. Green. A tree? I've seen that. Hey, excited. Only they usually feel more like nightmares. Young is that the imagination is. Well, I've only had the dream tonight, I think. In these dreams of yours. Well, singular. I thought they would go away, but they only get worse. Relax, Spyro. Think. 
It's the Chronicler. A mountain, draped in shadow. A face of stone beneath two moons. <laughs> so that, that was the title screen. Mountain of Malifor. Whoa. Am I the only one that thought that was weird? There was another. But it was more like I was seeing into the past and the future all at once. Like a Time Lord. Calling himself the Chronicler. That's when I saw the truth. Impossible. Yeah, no kidding. There isn't even a storm. The Chronicler? Who is the Chronicler? I don't believe it either. I've not heard that name in ages. Nor her shame. But there is no way that Spider could have known. What is the Chronicler? This is fascinating. But who is the Chronicler? The Chronicler is an ancient dragon of immeasurable... So let's smell for... Like, did something. I guess the Chronicler can be. <laughs> well, doubt no more, I guess. Well, that's not good. Oh, goody. I was afraid we might have to spend the rest of the night without any more doom. It is only a matter of time, Spider. We've all felt it. The great evil is on the horizon. Perhaps. But we mustn't rush to judgment. This evening has brought about many unexplained things. We may not have time, Ignitus. Celestial moons are almost at an extent. Mm. This we know for certain. We must prepare for the worst. The light of eternal darkness falls. So it's just a thing that happens, the eternal darkness. I mean soon. I'm out of here. Your instincts, though faint of heart, are true. We are no longer safe here. Then again, why did we think we were safe? At the place they attacked and won at last time. to be you. What? You guys need to lighten up. I'm afraid Terador is right. As uncertain as things are, none of us can remain idle. Watch our worst fears unfold before us. Exactly. We need a good hiding place. Where would we even hide? Again, I do like that they add added battle scars to him, it feels like. To the mainland to learn what news you can. The mainland? Where, where, where the hell have we been this entire time? Make haste to the Shattered Vale and warn the inhabitants of that region that darkness is spreading in Malifor. I shall stay back and search for sleep. These are dangerous times for a dragon to be wandering about. What about me? You didn't they mention me. Ancestors. What should I do, Ignitus? Young dragon, you must travel by another path and seek out the tree from your dream. If the stories of the Chronicler are true, there may be hope for us yet. And I think I know where to begin. Neat! Oh, I like this. I like there the drawn. The I the like the drawings there. It is a secret place untouched by civilization. <laughs> what the civilization? Poisonous, as well as the creatures who are notified, but you shouldn't encounter any... There's other. hardly any civilization in the world that we've so Just far yet met. Instincts. I shall be waiting for you here at the temple when your task is complete. Yeah, I'm so far digging this. Considering this is a sequel, they're able to just dive right in to action. From YouTube chat, I finally beat the first part of Monster Hunter Rise. Neat. I should try to play more Monster Hunter games. Like, uh, they feel weird to play. Me, a newbie to them. Why is Sparrow's face so terrifying from that angle? Oh my god. It is a little bit weird to get used to, but oh, yes. I find it endearing well, so far. always sends us to the nicest places. Come on, Sparks. It's not that bad. Ah, glowing eyes of doom. 
Well, sure. If you ignore all the evil beasts and visions of doom and eternal darkness, which sounds lovely, by the way. Oh, and the fact that we now get to frolic through the magical, creepy forest in search of some stupid tree. What's not to love? Your I mean, Let's go. the place we came from, the mushroom forest, wasn't all punky dory either. What the heck? <laughs> Grove mite. Alright, weird. I guess they weigh you down. Just a pile of grass there. We know that game. You told it to us. But I guess that's a reminder there in case you took a break after the first level. Since it more or less took like an hour. Oh, oh! Alright, mush... <gasps> I didn't notice the mushrooms coming down the... The waterfall. Alright, interesting. I do like that they use sparks as a, hey, go here, alert. I do appreciate that. these mites even are. Why they want to cling to me. Like horrific parasites. Oh, I see a green! I just see a green mask! I wonder if that means that I missed a green mask in the previous level. Hmm. Oh, well. Ow, rude. Double rude. Stop hitting me from off screen, jerk. They have insane reach for their charge. Darn you, if you're auto lock. Great range and auto lock, how dare you? Now, give me health from your dead body. Shall air combo you because screw you. Let me see. About halfway through to the next level of breath power. Just infinite air combos. I don't need to play by your games. I shall not be attacked by the mites while I air combo you. How dare. Never mind, they do come, to come for me. Alright, kind of neat. They used the mites as like a tutorial of like, hey, knock down this tree. And now we'll use you to get up here for more magic power, darn you. Oh. I am bad at platforming. <laughs> oh, ah, darn you. Of course, the moment I try to get my bearings, even that crumbles around me. Right. I don't like that there's fall damage when we're doing this. Then again, they did put a... a heal crystal. 
Oh, come on. I, they, they took away my double jump for some reason. I didn't do my double jump. I tried to do the double jump. It's like, eh, yeah, you glide now. How dare. Come on. Stop being rude with your platforming. There we go. And now, extra breath power is mine. Alright. Creepy music. <laughs> the ultimate tech to avoiding the mites. Just air attack always. Oh. Darn it. I do like that it just sends you back. There we go. I need to remember I have time stop powers. I can use them. All right, what the hell are you? Oh, darn. Not used to finding big ol' enemies like you. Maybe if I dashed more. What the hell? Alright, kind of mean to put an enemy I can't fight. At least I don't think I can fight. Hmm, there's... Hmm. Where do I get the... the spirit gems up there? Never mind, I think I know how. Alright, definitely feels like Spyro falls very quick. Hmm. Alright, I just realized something. If I use my time stop powers, I'd have more time to stand on those. Just keep forgetting that I can indeed stop, well, not stop time, but slow time. This constantly slips my mind. I shall kill your friend, Frost Panther. Darn you. Die like a rift worm. It's okay. Darn it. I should try and use my time stop power to dodge. Like big ol' attacks, like the that in the future. Come on, you can come fight me. Ha <laughs> ha, fool. I'll take you on one on one. Because then I'll win. bit.
dodge a bit. I need to use it like that more. That way... They wind up, I use it, get out of position very fast. I think that'll be the best way to do it. What are we doing here? I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be looking for. A tree. I think we're lost. Hey. I mean, it's not like we're using a map. You can't be <laughs> lost. Isn't that You're you're a freaky little guy? It's a spark. Don't eat that. You don't even know what it is. Drugs maybe. Huh. Pirates. Interesting. Then again, we're fighting treants, basically. Did we fall over again? Oh, hey, Sparks, make yourself useful. Distract them. Distract them. Oh, it's gonna make him scared. To think, oh, it's an evil monster. Maybe. At least that's how I would do it. Come on, you're gonna do anything, Sparks? Uh, so, uh, how is everyone today? Finally. Hopefully he runs them away from us. As we learn a new breath power. I would guess that we learn Earth here, but then again, those things seem like they were throwing ice crystals, but that could have just been weird. I don't know. Like, uh, what's the word? Spider webs? Because they're kind of splooshed into spider webs. <laughs> it's cold here. Definitely ice power then. Yo, Chronicler! Give me power! Chronicler? Are you there? I've done what you've asked of me. But I'm afraid I'm lost. As long as the spirits of the ancestors are with you, you are never lost. Calm yourself, Spyro. And cool your thoughts. Heh. <laughs> because you know, ice power. I wonder if this will be better than it was. Because I didn't have much use for ice in the, the first ice game. Also moves through you, just as the chilled winds whip through your fingers. It was very inconsistent in the last game, so let's see. Ooh! An icicle explosion. I knew you'd remember. Life seeks out balance, young friend, and one who can master fire and Well, I definitely didn't master ice last time. You have reawakened the ice element within Spyro. Following the floating platforms to test your new abilities. Press down to select the ice element in the future. At least I think it was. Oh! Interesting! That is completely different. So really, we haven't reawakened shit. Also, the music that's playing is very nice. It's hard to tell because it's kind of low-key, but it's nice. A, a polar bomb. I almost read that as pipe bomb. Well, this is pretty cool. Press triangle to use the ice tail attack. This attack is very useful to knock enemies away when you are surrounded. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. So maybe swapping between 
them for... I like that the triangle power is going from just all projectiles to, like, situational uses. It's super cool. And it's also kind of cool that it's not a, like, uh, an ice breath. It's just a... Uh, it's a completely different thing. I like. I like a lot. But it does seem very breath, like, magic intensive. So we'll need to pay close attention to that. And then if we do this... Oh, darn it. I almost slipped off. Darn it, I almost slipped off again. These are kind of hard to platform on, it feels like. Oh, rude. Gonna let it <laughs> kind of recharge a bit. Slightly. Darn you. I don't even know where... Ah, oh, because I need to... I'm going the wrong way. I get it now. I am a fool. For some reason, Brain was like, no, no. Uh, oh. Darn you! Uh, my platforming is terrible in this game. But I've yet to die. <laughs> slippery shoes? Nah, slippery claws. That makes me wonder, what do you call a dragon's, like, grasping appendage? Paw? Claw? Ooh, polar ice bombs can make platforms for Spyro. Neat. They're temporary, so... Kind of hard to see overall, but neat. Utility! <laughs> I would assume claws, but at the same time... Like, uh, paws have claws. Darn it, I'm dead. I fall to my death. Luckily, it's a dream. Look out, world! I'll fall to my death again. Darn it. Well, I, I guess I am. Now this is just making me wonder what, like, the Fellowship of the Ring would look like as dragons. I think I have the strength to go on. Because I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> the Lord of the Rings characters drawn as dragons. Again, the music is very nice. There we go. Tricky platforming is ever so slightly tricky. I need to make use of my time stop a lot more. I need to become Shadow the Hedgehog. Defeat the enemies to fill your fury bar. That will do. Wake up. T Tingle the demon! Somebody did not like Tingle from The Legend of Zelda. Time for the power of ice to eradicate you all! Get spiked, idiots. Hmm. 
Now this is just making me wonder what, like, uh... Because you know there's, like, Hyrule Warriors and the other warrior-type games, Fire Emblem Warriors? What if there was a Spyro Warriors? Based off of the legend of Spyro. I think that would be cool. Now we're back to the Chronicler's home. I just had a thought. <laughs> what if they just straight up killed Sparks at one point? Like, hey Sparks, I woke up, I got new powers, and there's just Sparks' dead body. Sympathy for the jerk brother. Okay, now Ice Tail will be very good indeed, it will. I think I'm entitled to know what's happening. You already know what is happening. The great evil that is awakening. But there is more that you must understand. And we don't have time for that. Oh, well, do we have time for that? I've seen this place before. It frightens me. It, an evil place, it's like a dragon. Mountain of Malifor. Huh. Oh, Sender, please don't say you went there. And what is that? Interesting. Sounds like an orc from Warcraft, that one guy. Yeesh. Where am I? I'm in a cave. I think Sparks may have led them to us. Never mind it, because this is not where I fell asleep. Uh, Spyro, I'm out of shape. What have we here? Our first catch of the day. I do like that they like use the basic model of the monkey enemies to make interesting new enemies here. Nope. There you. S stop spamming, little asshole. He just kept bouncing off of me like a jerk. But yeah, this is definitely not where we fell asleep last time. Probably could have made it. Oh, but we can use these to... Interesting. Now we have a weapon against those guys. Very neat. Yeah, I probably could, but... Scared to use these platforms a bit. All right. Up game, I did not jump that direction. <gasps> Must have been what's ever messed up with the... I, I definitely should not have. Wonder what makes some of the, the ice cubes tweak out like that. Interesting mechanic. Not sure how much I dig it though. Uh, I probably shouldn't have jumped. I think I can make it. Oh, I can. Ha ha. Now, whenever I see like a tree branch, I'm like, is that lead to a secret place or, or what? Well, I do see a quill. Damn it. Oh. 
How dare you hit me right at the exact moment I was coming to hit you. Oh, I was not expecting that. Okay. Was not expecting... Weird. Did I not jump at the right... <laughs> at the right course? I destroyed your spawners. Quit spawning, Grove Might. Darn it. <laughs> I do like that it teleports you back. But I'm interested, because... Darn it. Hmm. Because, like... Nah, because there's no way you could jump from that one, but I want to... I want to kind of risk it. Ah, uh, darn it. Well, that could have been a tech, but... Because it looks kind of like there are things back there. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the ice breath while we're here. Might as well. Yeah, because it's just weird because there are able to get onto branches, but it seems like it doesn't really go anywhere. So I'm... Confused by its existence. Hmm. And then there's these branches, but it doesn't seem like we can get to them. I don't know. Ah, hell. Darn it. You just spawn him and let him hit me? How dare you, game? Give me time to actually know what the fuck is going on. I do find the mites to be a little annoying because you have to jump attack them to properly attack them. They can be hit by other things, but not reliably. Also not liking how the mites just follow you for so far. For many minor annoying enemies, they are a little too annoying, it feels like. And then just a whole ass fortress here. Well, I guess a boat. It, they had... It, there, the crates looked like walls, which I guess they are. Are you just gonna send a whole battalion after me? Interesting. I'll just sit here. <laughs> now these guys have normal bombs. Once again, the, like, normal breath doesn't seem all that good, but the, the ice tail, very good. Well, they just sent a whole army after us. And that guy just fell to his death. <laughs> what a moron. 
I didn't even have to coax him to his his demise. How dare you? I was in the middle of comboing a guy. How <laughs> in the air at that? Uh, once again, just fell to your death by your own volition. The pirates are weird. Jeez. I wonder if I have to actually go up there to stop the spawning of enemies. I, game, stop comboing me like that. It was very rude. Very rude to just combo the player without giving them a chance to fight back. No. Careful, because this guy's probably gonna go for a dive. But I smacked them together. Kind of annoying that he was able to hit me like that. Rude. But now we know. How to blow them up. <laughs> and they're like, hello, we're going to fight you. Darn it. Stop. And now we bomb the enemy with their own bomb. Check this out. Ah, so there's multiple boats. Time for explosion! I was half hoping that it would just blow up the entire... the entire wall place. I hate <laughs> your little diving to hit me. Stop. Have to be careful because these guys really like. There you go. I can accept. Them just being like, I'm gonna combo you now. Just ever so slightly bothersome. Just looking around. Maybe they want me. <laughs> and then we use the boat. Just ever so slightly. Darn it. <laughs> Why are there just random pirates out here? In the forest of doom. Ah, good, you died. Huzzah.
fall to your death. And I presume I glide to the ship. Hit the barrel to release a cannonball. Somehow I survived all the pirates mobbing. The sheer amount of pirates I had to deal with. I'm going to assume that went in. They had it perfectly aimed at where we needed to blow up the wall. We just came through, massacred a bunch of pirates, left. Granted, they tried to attack me first. Hmm. So I don't think there were any collectibles on any of the other ships. That they're just there in the background. But you can never tell sometimes. Sometimes games get tricky. Ah, good thing we came over here. A few more experience points. And all the pirates were dead. Until we meet the next batch of pirates. Presumably. I do like that the ice actually puts out the fire. Rude. Triple rude. I'm trying to learn how much you want me to shoot him. Darn it. Why is he so specific? Right, very specific. Darn it. Oh, maybe I can... Darn it. Even with slowing down time, I still missed every single shot because the charging is so specific. Why is the charging so specific? It should just be charge up and release with minor aiming. Especially because when I try to do it properly, I get hit by his super specific timing. The last one at the temple was actually kind of fun. This one is kind of bothersome. Like, if there was some kind of, I don't know, me, like, uh, better than the current charge meter. Like, to help you tell. Maybe. Did he die from boredom? He made a weird noise. Darn you. <laughs> Why are you so hyper-specific? Shooting some magic out of your face. Game I was. It was the charging that was being hyper specific. No, no. You need to charge for 2.3, not 2.4. That's what, how specific it feels. Especially because it feels like I have, like, 
Some of them you can kind of dodge. Like, you need to use the... the dodge button. Meh. And then magically I did it in two turns, apparently. I don't know why. Maybe it was something in my brain? I don't know, that one felt weird. Because with the one at the temple, it felt like, oh, just charge and shoot. Well, that one felt like you had to, a very specific timing it wanted you to do. What are you? Some kind of leaf gremlin? Darn it, I should have used my my time slowing ability. But before we fight that guy, definitely wanna Darn it. Double darn you. Oh, oh, you can do that. That's nice. Ah, you also have the... All right, I, th I think I'd like it, because that's the uh, charge, or like the uh, the enemy kind of sort of parry that was weird in the last game. Here it seems that it's more timer-based, so if they enter that and you're in front of them when they let go, you're in for a bad time, which makes a lot more sense than the previous game. I really do like that. Oh, and I pressed that button by accident. Darn. I don't know why. It just being on the trigger, it's so sensitive. Like, it's not even like, oh, you have to put the trigger the entire way. It's like, eh, light click, immediately done. Doesn't help that they put the charge button above it. But uh, considering that the charge is kind of sort of useless, I guess <laughs> there are far worse places they could have put the super duper move. Still annoyed by that because it feels like it shouldn't be uh like an AoE attack, but it is, but that's just on me not comprehending the game. That guy just fell to his death. What the, what the hell game? <laughs> he just had a guy bust out like the Kool-Aid man. I thought he was like, oh, is he going to actually stand there and be the enemy? No, he fell in and died. <laughs> that is borderline hilarious. But what will come next? Ah, oh, great. Platform platforming will come next. Oh, no. And there is a health mask down there. All right. Oh, first time I see a streamer doing Spyro Eternal Night. Hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, because uh, I decided uh, I got the urge to do Spyro games. So I figured, why not play through all the Spyro games I've yet to play? I already did uh, Enter the Dragonfly, and then A Hero's Tale. 
Ah, darn it. At least uh, Darn it. <laughs> of course, right as I started to... Jump towards you, you electrify. Because I want to get that health mask. So I don't know how. But yeah, did enter the dragonfly, hero's tale, and a new beginning last stream. Darn it. <laughs> I, I keep jumping at you at the wrong times. I just don't know where the... I'm going to guess that that is the... I don't know. Because it feels like this is the loop around to get the health mask path. Of which I want that health mask. What does I call it a health mask? It's just a dragon symbol. Doing this because I don't know their pattern. Also, a little weird to see the jellyfish outside the evil, evil, evil world. Darn you! I hate that they're so rounded. And they're just slightly wonkily apart. Again, feels a little... Oh, okay! To die again? At least very nice to them to set the spawn there. It just feels like some of the platforming is a little specific. Attacks my anxiety, it does. And it ate my double jump, darn it. Let's do it. It ate my double jump again, darn you. I just want <laughs> to do the double jump game. Because that's what you want me to do to make some of these jumps. But there, ate my double jump. Let's do tests. One. Hey, my double jump. So it has a very specific... Hey, my double jump again game! What the hell? <laughs> I didn't experience this nearly as much in the last game. Then again, it didn't have as much platforming in the last game. Let's do it. In my opinion, if you have this kind of double jump system, just like eating the double jump should just not exist. It ain't my double jump again at the same point. Game. Why? Why are you so hyper-specific on when you want the player to double jump? You're the one that's making the platforming sure you'll get it this time. be this weird little path apart so I can't just normally double jump as I do. I have to hold off to be able to make it, and you punish me for it by eating my double jump. <laughs> the platforming is just wonkily done in this segment, especially because it's eating all my double jumps. I don't like it. I've got to remember my training. To be fair, your training didn't involve platforming. Okay, there, maybe. Darn it, because that weird branch was there for no reason but to confuse the player. Why? Why put weird geometry on the platforming path, developers? Onwards to battle. With your weirdly specific timing for double jumping. Well, you see, it's a very rare collectible that does not at all excuse your wonky design for double jumps. Because if I wait too long after the first jump, game gets angry. If I wait too long on the platform, I die. But I can just go through that one. There we go. Game is hyper-specific in what it wants out of you. For this level. Feels weird. But there we go. We got it eventually. Very, very weird, but not super terrible. Just kind of a why, though. <laughs> oh, hey, it's you. 
I flash banged myself of that. Oh. Kindly please stop spamming that attack. Oh, did another one spawn? How dare. Or do you just have a flicker of health? Didn't expect them to have a gauntlet of these guys thrown at me. Sheer gauntlet at me. Then I'll go over to this guy while you play out your block. Darn you. Cease. Desist, Woodbeard. At least the ice attack does a lot, and these guys give a decent amount of gems upon death. But man, they just threw a gauntlet at me. What do these tree beard creatures not want me to see? <laughs> the light, apparently. The daylight. The good light. Well, there's no daylight here. Darn it. Oh, I actually made it. Darn it. I will take the damage. Jellyfish platforming. Okay, game. That jellyfish looked like it was not moving, and then I think it started moving when I got to it. I don't know. The jellyfish platforming feels weird. It doesn't help that they're kind of wonky. Huh. Oh, there's more over there. This is presumably yeah, the path it wants me to go. The jellyfish platforming is wonky. And weird. Okay, we go up. Wait for it to get to Apex so that we can come on to you. Same thing. Wait to get at the Apex. And then we jump. Ah, Quill. I still like that. We will grab the quill. So far, at least this is much, like, much more interesting. Darn it. Oh, did we get it? Darn, and either way, I died. It flew away from me. I am the fool. I've got to remember my training. I don't think our training involved platforming jellyfish. The very, very weird jellyfish. Um. We'll try to do it properly. And good like. Because it is a cool aesthetic. Jellyfish out in the forest. I think we, the, the quill should carry over. I think so. I've not been paying attention to the amount of quills I've been gathering. <laughs> I also love when the player dies, their AI state goes too active to brain dead for a reason. You know what I mean? Eh. I do like that the jellyfish that are dangerous are more lit and up than the other ones, but at the same time, a little bit blinding. Hope we don't have to fight a jellyfish. That'd be weird. Darn you. Darn it. 
At least I have my breath back. I hate these guys' charging attacks. I think that guy just flew off the edge of the map unless there's collision for him. <laughs> these guys' is charge attack save is so slightly annoying. AoE. Get rid of you. Darn you. Please cease and desist, dog monsters. Jesus. I feel like it's a little bit cheesy of the game to give these guys super accurate dash attacks and then not have them dash off the level if they are improper with their <laughs> accuracy. But I guess then the player could just dodge them to oblivion. But I don't know. They're very fast and quick to smack. I feel like I should be rewarded for dodging them. <laughs> Spyro, what do you mean? My training included jellyfish, but I forgot to try my hands. <laughs> what even are you guys throwing? Are they ice? Darn it. At least all of them are now are in a single place. Okay, weird. These guys... These guys... Like, have a full combo reset. You do a combo on them, they, like, live. They break out. The bigger guys, they stay in the combo far, far longer. I don't know, that, that's kind of weird. I was not expecting them to instantly break out after I hit them, like, three times compared to the big guys. So it seems only like super big enemies stay frozen. There's that accurate dash again, how dare. Especially because now they're spaced out, how dare. Please cease and desist. And that ship is burning. I wonder what killed him. Hmm. And darn it. This is why I have the crystal. I should probably launch far farther. Oh, that's why. Darn you, game. How dare you only put half a boat in front of me? I know there are boxes. Who wants to go to boxes when there's a ship? Double darn you game. You lead me to a place you want me to go and then punish me for going there anyway. I do think that they're falling into way too creative territory. And now he's throwing palms at me.
Yeah, like, the problem here is I don't know... Like, what will kill me? Why do you throw so many fucking bombs, dude? Way too many bombs. Far, far too many bombs there. I'm going to assume that this is the actual way the game wants me to go. <laughs> then, as opposed to Mr. Bombonomicon. Are you here to fight me, or are you running away from something? I think they were running away from something. What? Uh... Okay. They have the magic of flying ships. Oh yeah, it's been a while since I checked the upgrades. Hmm. Splintering polar bomb. A rock of ice shatters into bitter mist, cold mist dealing extra damage to your foes. Hmm. Which one do I want? Then again, I'm going to be sticking with ice a bit. I guess I can upgrade you. And then Favia's cryogenic polar bomb. What was the point of showing that, like, broken... Them breaking the tree, I wonder. Because one thing I did notice now... Is that there is a another... Ba ba ba, another quill over there. Might as well try and get it. Hmm, I wonder if they mean for me to... Fly here. Does seem like it. That's weird. So, I guess it makes sense, but... The other one actually exists out here, game. Interesting. Ate my double jump again. I wonder why it does that. Eat my double jump so much. Into the tree hollow we go, from where the monkey men were running. <laughs> sneaky quill. Most sneaky. Yes, more trees. The things we've been seeing the most of today. Well, that kind of looks like the tree we're looking for. Kind of, maybe. But it's surrounded by poison, so I'm not sure if we should trust it. Is that your dumb tree? It's beautiful. Where we go now? This feels like the right place, but... I'm not sure what I'm supposed to And we already to had our pass out for the level. I'm going to go wait over there. You know, I'll give you a few minutes. Well, maybe there was a lily pad you forgot to sing on, or a rainbow you can talk to. Again, I don't trust it. It's too poisony. Maybe uh, we'll commune with it. I'm here. And it will turn time. this entire place whole, like a uh, healed and like. Or will we have to fight. Are we actually going to have to fight the tree? Hey, are you a brother to, like, the stone god guy we beat back in the, the floating island lands? Uh, it's my turn to pass out. You're on your own, buddy. Honestly, fair enough. I wonder what kind of boss fight this will be. Oh. 
Arboric. You are exactly like... The one... You are literally him. Oh, that that's mean. Camera, camera. Move far away. <gasps> Jesus. Move far away. Oh, just double Jesus. The aiming is a little weird. You're a little mean. Okay. Like, how am I supposed to dodge all your attacks and light you on fire sufficiently? Because you seem to... Like, Jesus! Like, maybe if I light his hand on fire? But then, if anything, that would just give him more, like, chance to hurt me. Alright, I have no idea what the game wants me to do. He's like an annoying puzzle boss. Like, I do see these platforms over here, but they don't seem to do anything. Oh, and... Uh, like, yeah, I don't have much idea what to do against this guy. <laughs> they don't really leave much to be explained. And I would like to skip <laughs> the, the cutscene game. Well, this is very annoying. I don't want to go through this. <laughs> okay, good. like okay no idea how to dodge that because I hit <laughs> I dodged exactly where you would expect I'm gonna try and light his legs on fire all right apparently I am punished for lighting him on fire the thing that I need to defeat him so I, I okay I think I need to like light each of his limbs on fire so it's kind of a puzzle boss which is kind of interesting but they did not explain that at all <laughs> it's also annoying because he'll inevitably he'll inevitably begin twisting and twining okay so if you light him on fire enough he doesn't heal entirely Okay. I feel like that could have been telegraphed a little bit better game. Especially because he's made of wood. Just spinning off the embers wouldn't be enough, I feel like, to heal him. If I were making this, I would have maybe given him a bit more health. But made it so that he took uber damage if you did it like the puzzle way. But he still took normal damage. If you, like, didn't, like, uh, do it how they wanted you to do it. Okay, <laughs> Earthbender. I wonder if we're still in puzzle boss mode. Bleh. Definitely need to use my time stop more. Okay, so it definitely seems to be that we're out of puzzle boss mode and into normal boss mode. Where'd you go? I can't see you. He's gone. Uh, you're gonna... This doesn't look good. He's very angry. Um... Uh-huh. Okay, I dodged that. Good, good. <laughs> Why did you climb up just to, just to try and 
start kicking me. That seems a little odd, my dude. Damn it. I was too slow on the dodge there. Little bit of a weird boss fight. Not uber terrible. Is there gonna be a third phase or are you done? Cause at least it's interesting. I will give him that. That was interesting, just could have been telegraphed a little bit better. Yeah, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Wait, you don't suppose that was the chronicle? Of course not. The purple dragon has been wandering lost in the ancient. <laughs> the, 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 the pirate? The parrot is the one that's talking? That's funny. Whoa, what's with the gurgling nitwit? If I were you, I'd shut my mouth. I ain't gonna say it again. Sparks, maybe you should stay out of this one. Yes, mind yourself. To answer your earlier question, no, that isn't the chronicler, whoever that is. That was Arboric. Arboric. To be the main attraction in our tournament. How are you gonna capture him? Gosh, I really feel bad about that. <laughs> the sarcasm. Oh, really, no need for remorse. You'll do just fine. Also, those are bat wings on that parrot. <laughs> are we just gonna end up captured? My question is how? Ah, we get beamed over the head. At least they show it in a cool way. Bit lame that we're just automatically kidnapped. But hey, I mean, Shakespeare made it so that... <laughs> Shakespeare had a habit of getting his characters kidnapped by pirates when he didn't know how to get them out of situations, so why not? Pirates to, <laughs> to move the story forward. Don't know how to continue the story? Pirates! You could at least try to keep a tune. I wonder how fireproof all these things- Oh, hey! It's a- Yeah. What are you doing here? Man, you, man, we smalls cannot catch a break. Poor guys just cannot catch a break. That second parrot is a little weird. I mean, if we're made to fight in the arena, why can't we fight off of them? We could take all these guys. I'm going to guess the entire evening is going to be me fighting. Let's 
I wonder how many, like how many implied watchers there are with the glowing lights. Also, this is a ship. This is a pretty big ship. Also, they have cannons pointed into the arena. How rude. Yeah, that's a good point. How would they get Arboric into this arena? Airdrop him? All those cannons on their tails. Ah, to surprise blocking enemies. Okay, cool, there's counterplay. I would like to actually move away. We'll smack him with his friend. Okay, never mind. <laughs> he died. Oh, it's because he's going to get a second wind. You know what? Yeah. How many health states do you guys have? Use my time slow. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stun you, gather up some health. At least now I know that I can Stun blocking enemies. The like can sort of one end into one before. Well done. Well done indeed. Step forward, little dragon. Now welcome to the part which makes most players gave up because of the lack of cues to pin the player to the right way to beat them. Hmm. So this is the difficulty spike, I guess. <laughs> It's all under control. <laughs> and allow me to entertain you with the healing power of love while we wait. Um, um, uh, swing low. I don't hear you. Come on. Swing low. Sweet. What's the matter with you all? You You're not even trying to sing. The difficulty spikes will be more after the arena. You'll see. Oh, boy. Because I was told by my Twitch chat that this game is the hardest of the trilogy. So we'll have to see. Where were you? Ignitus said you would help, but you've only led me on a path to nowhere. Our path through life is not always the path we choose. Sometimes our paths are chosen for us. That means nothing. I'm still wondering where Cinder is. Be steady, Spyro, and use the power of the Earth to. I wonder what this will be like. Cause last game it was Sonic Boom Shotgun. What will it be this time? Will we actually just throw out Earth? <laughs> or is it just going to be more shockwaves? <laughs> From Twitch chat, and you were right, you actually get electricity last. They knew it was too overpowered.
Joffrey awakened the Earth element within Spyro. Follow the floating platforms and test your new abilities. Press left to select the Earth element whenever. Interesting. Press and hold to summon the Earth Flail. While you hold the button down, you can swing the flail. Oh, that's cool! I'll need more practice with it, especially in the real world applications. But it seems cool. You spin me right round like a platform. Press triangle to use the Earth Pound attack. This attack is very useful to knock up surrounding enemies. <laughs> Feels weird to use. But seems interesting. But so far, this has been interesting and like a, a neat little difference from A New Beginning. It does seem like they did give this whole game a difficulty spike. But that doesn't mean it's bad, except for that one, uh, the platforming with the jellyfish. Ah, to destroy the rock debris. Stand the center. Interesting. It's useful to stun, but not for damaging. But it's uh, useless on real application because of the amount of enemies in a certain place. Oh boy. I'm gonna watch them turn over again. Didn't even need my slowdown powers that time. The on your model has a unique style. Ah, oh, thank you. I like to think so. <laughs> like, m my art style is highly inconsistent most of the time, so nice that <laughs> how this one came out is, is pleasing. Get smacked. I'll let them all respawn. And now, time for Earth Destruction. Get Sonic Boomed! Or I guess maybe Gamma Waved. We're the Incredible Hulk up in here. But depending, like, the real-world application of the flail could be cool. But it could also be very, uh... Magic breath intensive. So I'm not sure. I want to know what is happening. I've done what you've asked of me and followed your path. And I just got attacked by a giant tree. The time will come when you will have to choose your own path. But I thought you said we might just have to walk the path given to us. Open your eyes. You're a weird man, Chronicler. Ooh, music is cool. Why are they going towards us? Because they're crazy. Souls is the pinnacle of its terrible shadow. 
Sir, in the spirit of the deceased Emerita Minas, is permitting him to roam freely within the halls of the night. And, and all these dudes just want to go there? Where all the evil souls come out to play? Finally awake, are you? <laughs> well, I got new powers to fight with. We're trying to get Pally Pally with the enemy, Sparks. We're here to kill them. See if we can handle this arena gauntlet, presumably. Hardy hard. How's my flail gonna hit that? Careful of the fumes. So this is kind of a retread of... That one boss that we've already... Right. Does he hit... Uh, damage me if I hit him from up front? Doesn't seem like it. Nope. Darn it, I was away from that. Wish there was uh, some opportunities for... Ah, so you do take damage from the front. Just, hmm. Little inconsistent. But now that I know to save my breath for when he crashes... Are you ready for more? I want to skip you! I should also check and see... Again. I'm button mashing. I want to skip. Got him down to half health. Do a full combo, back off. Presumably, get off me, flame. Do a full combo, get off. Alright, second health bar, and I am out of... Magic breath, that kind of sucks. I wish his cannonballs, like, freed up, like, a uh, magic breath. Alright, so now I know the game's kind of a jerk there. Save magic breath. And we have to go through this each and every time? Come on, game. Very silly.
So I'll only melee combo him when he smashes into the wall. And then save my breath to combo him in his second phase to try and bl burst him down as quickly as possible. Is what I think. I wonder if I can combo him from behind. Hmm. Seems they have a <laughs> get back in the arena, like. Hey, stop going to the sides. Fight the enemy. So I can kind of stay safe back here, but he gets really fast later. So I'm not sure. Even here, it's hard to keep pace with him. A little bit slow, but it's kind of safe. Dang it. Randomly took damage. Okay, I got just combo to death by the environment. That's fun. Like, I have no idea what skips the goddamn cutscenes. Oh. I wish he had just normal patterns. Rather than whatever the hell this is. Because they're just reusing the basic mechanics of the the train boss fight from the last game. So it's a little annoying that they're being kind of obtuse here. What the hell? What that just th threw out at me? I it also is kind of annoying because there's no like, uh, there's nothing that gives health here, presumably. Like, if it gave me health on his of the, okay, keep comboing me, game. God damn. Yeah, no, like maybe I could use my time stop to help, but I don't know. This is just kind of stupid. Because I, I just, I don't know what the game wants me to do against this boss. And it's not just, it's not playing fair, it feels like. It's not playing fun. It's just, we're gonna be random. Random difficulty. So if you hit, like, the bottom, also very annoying that they can just turn into me with the flamethrower. Doesn't feel like good design. Darn it. Almost. But I have no idea how to deal with him in this second phase. Because he just gets so fast. And he just never crashes. I'll need to be careful when he turns and then use my time stop.
Of course. Game, come on! You're being so good and then you just threw this dumbass bullshit here. I also still don't know which button skips the goddamn cutscenes. But I might be able to one-turn him. If I get his, hit his weak spot enough. Maybe. Okay, that should not have hit me. Maybe I'm supposed to use the time stop to get melee combos in? Maybe. It just seems like he's very spammy. Will you please crash? That is far too many turns of our crashing game. Jesus Christ! Nope, nope, please die. Die already. Alright, I believe you are dead. Please explode. So I think the key was using the time stop to dodge attacks, but only kinda. Just still felt very, very weird. Can we at least order some room service? Clark, we need to get out of here. Something terrible is going to happen. No. If I don't get some food, I am gonna freak out. I got it. What are you gonna do? It would probably be easier to fight through the entire ship. Huh. And what is it? What are the whispers? Why so? Huh. Oh, hey! Hunter exists in this universe! Did not know that. Can we just beat him up on our way to the arena? Then what's that? I can hardly even hear you talk over the sound effects. Oh, hey, is this going to be a retread of the Draugr fights from the first game? They didn't even have the, like, the courtesy to heal me. Why do you have a shockwave attack? That had, like, no tell at all. Still don't know what buttons. Like. <laughs> oh, I think I know how to. That's rude. But I think I know. Dang it. Uh, okay, I think he's dead. I think I killed him way too quickly. <laughs> well, well. It appears we 
Time stop for kill. The train was harder. It's only because it was so weird. What, are you gonna try and throw Cinder at us? Ah, <laughs> okay, I didn't, I didn't expect him to actually do this. Hey, full cutscene time. I mean, she went off on her own. Are we actually gonna fight? How about we break out together? Exactly. The fiend monsters are attacking? Well, I guess the ape king. Man, Cinder, it is just not your game. Why couldn't we fly after her? We have the ability to fly, even if we only did it twice. Did we even do it twice? I think we only did it once. No, we did it twice. So definitely not that strong. Darn it. I should use my slowdown in combat more often. Grab this. Cease. I... These enemies are, like, way too zealous on the damage, I feel like. Way too quick to go, like, and now I shall do Fury Swipes. I think I have the strength to go on. We didn't even die that time. How dare you imply that I died. <laughs> Crystal Eater, that's what I am. The crystals heal me. I was so high up that even you couldn't hit me, Wild Tracker. Wait, Neonix, how dare you put me in the game without my... <laughs> my express permission. We should take some of this treasure with us. Rule the world. Let's see, how much... We don't have much experience from all the pain we went through. This must be the place that we were prepared. Like, uh, held? Are we gonna try and save, like, uh, what's his name? Moliere? Well, apparently the game wants us to go this way. It did open up, but... The question is how? Ah, smashing! Over here! He said, Psst, over here, so I wonder. Oh, maybe we go up pipe, maybe? Huh, probably not. Instead, we use time power. But really, I kind of wonder what Hunter's gonna look like in this game. But what's this button do? Ah, it's a back button. For some reason. Why would you want to go back? 
I do like that they kind of... How do I get you? What? I wish I could look around a bit more. Because there's the, the health mask back there, but how do I get you? Hmm, do I... No? Hmm. Because I do see the health mask back there. The question is, how do I get it? Maybe I get an explosive further down? Because I thought maybe smash you. Alright, game is being weird and not telling me where to go. Which is just weird. Do I need to hit, like... Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I just don't know what the game wants me to do. Which is kind of annoying. Would be nice if the game had uh, clear and attainable goals. That would be nice. Hmm. There's a switch as well. Oh, that's what I need to do. Okay, that makes more sense. We've yet to have to flip a switch like that. So I didn't know exactly what to do. Okie dokie, that makes more sense. And now, health mask is mine. And I'm going to presume, like I don't even know. Uh, maybe if we light it on fire? We'll have to run some tests with the... the LED. I knew that the pipe had to be something. It's just kind of weird. Hmm. Ah, if we leave it... I think I might know. But I also feel like there's something like, uh... At the... Definitely wanna... I'm messing up. Because it feels like we should be able to blow this up as well. Like, I don't know why else this would exist, but it doesn't seem like there's anything down there. So I'm going to presume it's not important? Hmm. Because it doesn't seem like we have the ability to make it explode on command, so... Oh well. Interesting, but it could have been telegraphed a little bit better. I think things just got more complicated. Good. I was afraid that escaping the burning ship would be too easy. Oh. All right. All right, somehow we made it through. We have to let our time stop powers regenerate. Kind of annoyed that it keeps shifting my camera. Darn it. I do think this is a little too fast, but they have to justify the time stop being, but still. Now they're coming in at different speeds. There we go. Not terrible, just the bomb part could have been telegraphed a little 
little bit better. I feel like. Interesting. But man, it's just not <laughs> Cinder's game. I'd like to go up. We get introduced to her, then she doesn't stick around. Sadly. We finally meet her and thought, like, oh, is she actually going to enter the story? The answer is no. <laughs> she is not entering the story. Okay, very annoying. At least that doesn't seem to hurt me, coming from the ceiling. That would be mean. Well, obviously these things have... <laughs> Unless the gems are just there for flavor, which would be a little mean. Oh, because we came back here. Hmm, interesting. I like how we're not even trying to free, like, some of these other people. They're obviously banging on the doors like, Let us out! Oh, yeah. the ship's under attack. No shit. We have to get off this thing. But my brothers! <laughs> At least Sparks didn't yap up a storm there. Why are you even firing cannons? You're not shooting anything. Or are these like automatic cannons? Someone's like the fire started. Oh. I mean, I guess it doesn't require too much timing, but still. It was still messing with my camera, and I do not like that. Ah, but we need to hold a specific angle. Meanwhile, this other guy was just floating through the air. Like, are we plugging these so that the pipes rupture deeper within the ship, opening more doors? Why do we even have these unburnable rolly crates? Or like, why does this ship have them? Then again, this is a kooky crazy pirate ship, so... What do I know? <laughs> Lol. Not the cage! And for some reason that causes that to open. Hey, mon frère, we feel very much. I hope we can meet again 
How do these bo little rowboats even fly? Good luck, Moliere. I do like that Moliere and his little friends showed up again. Hey, that guy just gave me an idea. And what's that? Why don't we get off the burning boat? <laughs> okay, that's funny. We need a map to a place called the White Isle, and I think I know where we can find one. You know I hate you, right? Funnily, I think this ship level is actually really cool. I just don't think that the arena portion... Well, okay. The Draugr kind of fight was fine. The train refight was terrible. Because it was just overly difficult for no reason. It didn't... It, we should be looking around for something. It's not even like it was... Uh, what the fuck? Why is there a ghost in here? Well, obviously I know where this goes. But I want to explore the other chambers first. <laughs> Just random... Okay. <laughs> Hello, ghosty. Oh! Ice Blast instantly kills you? Neat. I see a quill. So that makes me want to double check this. Do we see what's behind you? Just treasure? Uh, where's the, the, the ball? Here's the ball. Ah, experience and a quill. Which makes me think, hmm. I think I'm gonna level up uh, to face here's next. Because it's very handy. Oh, oh. <laughs> there was no feedback on me hitting the cannonball dispenser at all. So I thought, oh, d did I not hit it correctly? No, I did. I do find it funny that they f force you to do it twice for this one quill. Unless there's secretly more than just a quill in there. Yeah, it's just a quill. Interesting. Mildly amusing. Yeah, we can go that way. But, uh... There were gems and stuff in these here rooms. Yeah, that's the way we came. Bit of health. Bit of green. Interesting that these are back here. And I think this was... Ooh, a treasure chest. Let me guess, ghost? Double ghost. Die. It's just weird that we go through it normally, suddenly ghost. Like, yeah, we fought the Draugr ghosts in the first game, but just random ghosts. Are we gonna fight the... the, the two, uh... The parrots and their walking body, I guess. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. But not at all what I expected. Okay, I didn't I didn't go to the right the right side. That is a very fast elevator. Little odd, but sure. Out of all of the quicky quicky run fast not puzzles so far this this will be the most forgivable.
barely made it. You annoy me. I hate that those guys can hit me while in midair. Well, they can hit me uh, midair depending on how high in the air I am. Which sometimes is very, very low. I definitely need to use my time stop more often to get the jump on enemies before they get the jump on me. Oh, hello. Because it's, it's a very handy resource. I should just do it a lot. Alright. Cannonball. I was just hitting you to hit you. Go ahead and clear the way for the next quill. I do quite enjoy the quills as collectibles because... They're non-stressful ones. They're ones that you can easily ignore if you don't want to get them. Now the, the the green and red masks, those are a bit more stressful. Why was there so many crystals right there? And fire! Definitely interesting because of that. If you didn't get the quill, it would have been unobtainable. Slightly cruel, but again. Oh, did it! That's very rude. Yeah, very rude to stop me right in front of the fucking super cannons. I was going to go smack him, and then you just, like, stunned me there. You did it again! Game! Can you cease in your act of stunning me while enemy- for cutscene stuff when enemies are around? Well, that's a bomb. It's gonna explode. I'm getting closer. Throw you into the air. Die. I'll smack this just to open up more room. Head to you before you can head to me. <laughs> Bohavian Star Rider, goodbye. But yes, aside from the train ripoff, my only complaint so far is that weird bit where they lock me in place right next to enemies for these little cutscenes. I wonder, will you die if I knock you off this? Ah, he did. Did a minor ballerina control take away. But not terrible. Darn you. I was trying to air hit you. 
And every time I tried, the game was like, eh, nah. <laughs> But yeah, so far, very nice. Definitely kick up in difficulty. But aside from one or two moments of uh, not super duper good telegraphing what they want from the player, not terrible either. No what do you mean, no problem? We're just going up to the, the mast. Is it to see everything? Are we going to draw the map? Okay, uh, didn't mean to do that twice. Dang it. You have weird faces. I <laughs> These guys a little annoy me as well because they do the same thing. Of like, ah, we're gonna hit you very, very fast before you can hit us. Okay. Aha, but now I did it to you, fool. Go flying into oblivion. Then again, we are at a point where we can just do this to them over and over. But then the slowdown came to kill me. I'm going to come upon you and do it to you. Goodbye, blood dive. Goodbye, frost touch. Ah, I think that's like a, a secondary level, and that's coming down to me. But... I want to see what's over here. I want to see if there's anything over here that's interesting. I think I went the a different way. I think that was the bonus way, and this is the way it me needed me to go. I wish they telegraphed that better, because I like going optional ways. Or maybe this is a super duper bonus way where all the enemies come to kill you, but probably not. I'm going to do this on all of you, because there's way too many of you. Explosions! Yeah, I think that's my second gripe, because I thought... The little diddly D that came down was the way I was meant to go. Well, apparently not. Ah, crap. Game, game is <laughs> trying to stun lock me there. What is even this weird purple stuff that's happening? I think that was just a graphical thing. Oh, it's the, the parrot. I think. I don't know what that was. It looked like the parrot.
The stairs are not helping this place. game the camera is being evil I shall send you down a flight of stairs and hopefully that will kill you and I shall do the same thing to you down the flight of stairs once you hit that wall, and technically this doesn't count. Darn. A destructible that if you hit fr touch on the top, it damages you. Weird. Lots of enemies there. I'm just thankful that I had the Fury. If I didn't have the Fury, that would have been painful. So the game is pointing me towards that guy, I think. In the flying boat. How the hell do I get to him? Unless this magically makes me go... Oh, no, there's more enemies. Just out here in the world. <laughs> the random enemies at the bottom of the staircase. With your death, will that spawn something? Or I... Ah, I need the cannonballs, I see. Goodbye. Ah, great, these guys. Kill the blunder tail, he'll go into his darn it. At least these guys aren't super tanky. They just have that weird second life mechanic. I did my did the thing you told me to do game. How oh, dare. At least there was a health <laughs> a little health dealy there. Now prepare to die. And more people have come to murder me. Again, it feels like I 
missed an optional path. Sadly. Because it felt too much like a way I was supposed to go. Run up on you. And they just keep dropping bombs. Get the thing again. Hey, Sparks, you can come out now. Yeah, where is Sparks? I haven't noticed him in a while. Oh, there he is. At least in big fights like this. Like even the snowball feature of the ice bomb is pretty handy. Because at least it gets them off my back for a decent amount of time. Yeesh. At least the combat is much more super engaging. Are we gonna actually fight the the parrot guys, or were those the parrot guys <laughs> doing the weird magic power? But there is a health crystal there, so. A little afraid. It's a map of the world. Wow. Pretty big. Hey, we didn't burn down your ship. What did I do? Who you calling chump? You fool! You! It's astounding the amount of trouble you've managed to cause. I mean, you're the ones that kidnapped you us, and then yourself. that got your you ship attacked. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna do this. Do some extra damage. Because I think if I die, it's gonna go away anyway. So I definitely need to use my time stuff ability more. Darn it. Okay, that's kind of bullshit. Oh, dude, you are super bullshit. Fuck off. I think the game wants me to do the... Okay, nope. Just very spongy boss for no reason. Okay, so I need to dodge his hook to lay down onto him. That seems to be the trick. basically have to. Maybe if I hide behind his desk. 
Okay, it destroys the desk. Well, that's not very nice. I feel they're being a little too hyper-specific on how they want you to fight these bosses for how little they actually give you to fight the bosses. Hey, they just, <laughs> they had like one way of fighting the boss in mind and get very upset if you fight him in any other way, which is just very dumb. Now I have no health to dodge his shit. The fire is still a think game. You're being stupid right now. And again, the fact that the cutscene plays every single time. What is wrong with you, game developers? Gonna be weird with my time powers. Darn you. Yeah, they're just being way too hyper specific on how they want you to fight these goddamn bosses. Well, I want you to fight him this way. And then they have him just walk at you. God. <laughs> Game. I'm just gonna get my health back. Why are they being so specific on how they want you to fight bosses in this version? It just feels very weird compared to everything else. Go through multiple of that. Will you become vulnerable one of these days? Because I know that your, like, cannon got smoky at one point. Okay, there we go. Apparently he didn't like that. We have the, <laughs> the designers were a little weird. And how, like, oh, no, you have to fight him this specific way. If you fight him any other way, that's bad. That's against the rules of God. <laughs> way too hyper-specific. Are you going to jump out or are you going to shoot me out? He jumped! Okay, that's kind of funny. The two puny little parrots carrying him away. How is that even possible? You can't just let them get away. We're going after them, right? Wait, did I just say that out loud? Yeah, because just like with Arboric, we're like, ah, you have to specifically hit all of his body parts without telling you what to do. At least the pirate guy was a bit more obvious in what they wanted from you, but it was still very much in the weird, why are you this specific? I guess because they wanted to make the bosses a bit harder compared to... 
the first game, but still, it's just weirdly specific. I'm going to presume we fly down here to fight these guys. And they're immediately running? Hey, I did my <laughs> get up in the air attack first game, and you know it. We're just gonna look around these ships in case there's any secrets. Like, whatever the hell this is. I don't think it's a secret, I think it's just... I guess this is here to show us that they did indeed update the armadillo things from the first game. Alright, we need to follow Sparks through the bombs. How does he know? Who knows? Maybe he's magic. Get on the floor, Dance Dash. Prepare to die for my healing. Now we're gonna do this to you. And I'll send you down a lot of stairs, and hopefully that'll one-shot you. Did not. How dare. And then I'll just get in close, and do this with the power of time! Maybe this is canonically where the slow-mo comes from. The slow-mo is canonically the magical, uh... I, I wanted to knock them all away. <laughs> Get off my ship, you snowball freaks. I do find it a little frustrating that they seem to try to make these guys have very safe attacks, which is kind of like why they're fodder enemies. But oh well, this is now mine. It's still not explained how they fly through the sky. Why even have the oars? <laughs> no idea why we need a second one, but okay. Blast you against the wall. you fall to the floor. Dead. Ah, we found Sailor Hunter again. He'll never hunt the Sailor Moon. And go flying. You'll probably go over the railing. Aha! <laughs> Hits the railing, bounces off, and then dies. And 
Good thing these things are in the air and not the sea, because that would have sunk immediately. I knew one of these chests would have a secret. Kind of rude to have the... Get off me. <laughs> to have the flame hurt me, but oh well. I'm not sure if they want me to fly back or... What? They are spawning enemies, and usually that means... Hey, I am comboing you. When I combo you, you are meant to stay harmed. I definitely need to use snowball these guys a bit more often to stun them at the very least. Jesus Christ, stop! With the trying to attack me all at once. Hurts me dearly. That guy trying to get me through the air. Just jeez. These guys are rabid. Honestly, I think the little guys might be harder than the big guys. What, are you gonna set that on fire? Are you... I don't know what to expect from these crazy guys. I would just like it pointed out. Oh, fine. I was gonna leave you alone until I killed the minions. But it's not like they'll be able to get me up here anyway, so I'm just gonna do that. Probably combo you and send you flying, presumably, to your death. Another Nimrod dead. Quit with their fury swipes. Hurts me dearly. Hmm. Oh, did how did you get up there? How did you spawn up? I guess they all spawned up here. Oh no, they came on a boat. I saw it right out of the corner of my eye. Go fly away. Or burn on the the railing, I guess. That's always an option. One of I didn't know if that, like, spilled grog stuff was actually meant for anything. Why are we even chasing after the pirate guy? I mean, shouldn't we be... It didn't look like he took the map. And shouldn't we be more worried about Cinder since she got kidnapped? By whoever is doing the fiending? I wish that I could... <laughs> Please cease. I wanted to snowball them off, but... Sadly, the game was mean. And it was like, oh, you have to basically commit to suicide yourself? Oh, hey, but level up stuff. How close are we at? We're almost there for ultimate power ice. How dare you? <laughs> the mini guys are the most evil because they're the ones that just charge at you. No regard to themselves. And have weird stun frames to get in extra hits on you. Why do you even keep going on to the grating? 
You're not even a great bard. You don't even have a loot. So they go up and- Oh, what? I thought that there was something weird. If all it is is just a health thing. A little sad. Ooh, big treasure chest. A quill! Which is enough for me. All right, now it's on a timer. Why not just have it open eternally? Um. I think I might have glitched it. All right. <laughs> glitched or not, I am free. Just absolutely annihilating my little gondola. Why did we even fly in the way of it? Then do we even have control of these things? Bye. Also, don't like that these guys auto attack the moment that they are free. Like, even if I hit them, they hit me. It is a painful existence. Hmm. I'm going to presume that when we light up this cannon, there'll be a gate that we need to open. Why well, we can't just, like... <laughs> Blow it up with the cannon? I don't know. Why do pirates even have these kinds of buttons? Who knows? We'll go ahead and get rid of you. Hello, Blundertail. Darn. for your second wind. Weird. Will you finally die? How many second winds do these blunder tails get? Uh, you're lowering an elevator for me. I guess that one, that minion was just a little too lazy. And then he fell to his death. Maybe that's why he wanted the elevator. He didn't want to fall to his death, and then he did anyway. I was holding the button game. <laughs> Give me that. I was doing the hold the button to annihilate the enemy. Hmm, so interesting. It seems like... Like the, the counter blocking cannot be... Schmiggity smacked with that. So it's only enemies that are default blocking. So like that can't, can't air attack 
to open them up, which is a little weird, but also weird that the game locks me in orbit of the enemy. How far away? Ah, just right here. Luckily, it seems that I can just stand below him and not get hit. Once again, I was holding the button, and it's like, ah, you aren't trying to send that enemy airborne. Just weird little moments like that, where the game eats my inputs. Come on, get up, so I can kill you with your infinite lives. <laughs> he started moving. He should not have the, I was standing in place, so I get to smack you away bonus thing. He was clearly moving, game. How dare. They did it again, you bastarding bitch. Game, fuck off! No! That is stupid. <laughs> he is clearly moving. He walked the entire boardwalk towards me. He does not get the ho ho ho, I was actually blocking blocking. And now this guy just came after me for no reason? How dare. You're all too convenient ambushing when I didn't have my camera on you. You jerk. Give me health boxes. I wonder, will there be anything in this giant box? Apparently it was a green. <laughs> you hit it, and then the green starts coming out even though the box is even destroyed yet. No running around, jerk. You must die. Then we'll come after you, presumably, probably. Man hiding behind the fence. Ah, uh, when your little minions come to attack me. Focus. Just gotta focus, because the game's being a little wonky at me. I still don't quite understand why some enemies get a second health chance. It's not like in a, health, a second health bar, they just go on the ground a little bit. Then, like, they, like, get up with half a health bar. It's, like, it's just a weird mechanic. Back up into the air. How are you easier than your little munchkin friends? You have a flaming sword. You're like four times their size. Somehow much easier to destroy. Now the question is, where the hell do I go? Uh, presumably, uh, presumably there has to be something this way then, because they blocked it off with these big boxes. I had to kill everybody to open the way. Ah, lever! Which I guess is this ship's steering wheel. Never mind, it's to, s it's to summon another magical little boat. It's just <laughs> infinitely amusing to me. That it's just a normal rowboat. Nothing magical about it except that it flies. How does it fly? <laughs> no explanation. I do wish that there was still a little landing reticle to let you know where you're actually going to land. Ooh, we can upgrade my ice now. Ice power upgraded! And then next we'll probably go back to upgrading the fire. Aw, oh, damn it, I forgot. I missed a quill. Oh well. Like I said, not the worst thing to miss. Even like the health and stamina. Or not stamina, but like magic meter things. Like aren't the worst things to lose out on. We didn't even catch him. Mm, oh, never mind. Sure the will come to you. 
You do know Sparks. Why'd we come to the doomed ship? Uh, do we have to find another flying fiend? Game, I just spawned in! I do think that having my attacks be kind of orange, red, and his attack be red is a little mean. Luckily, they went down super easy. I got the pattern down quick. <laughs> do I have to fight more fiends? This is just here to be like, hey, restock your health. Come back to the arena to fight. Uh, do I jump anywhere? Do I come to this side? Doesn't look like it. Is there something I missed over here? Ah, lever. I keep missing the levers for some reason. How do these levers affect the rowboats? What eldritch magic does it? Also, the more I hear these boats, the more I'm certain that that's like a, a stock sound effect sound, because I swear I've heard it in Morrowind. How big is this guy's fleet, and how far can his parrots carry him? Then again, it seems like... It seems more like the parrots run the show, so... I guess it's more their fleet, and he's just the big old body. Get schmacked. Now, before we activate that, we'll quickly glance around. What the hell is this? It's just a, a grog stand, I guess. I do have to say, the Spyro getting kidnapped by pirates subplot is going on for quite a while. And the game ate my double jump again. I don't remember that being a big old problem in the first game, but at the same time, there wasn't as much important, like, platforming to do in the first game, so... Might just have been an issue that I didn't run into because it wasn't a necessity. And we could just go ahead and send out the... The cannon, but why do that? Come on, quit, quit walking away. I'm gonna air combo you. Grin in the face of your doom. Live up to your name. Why are so many of these guys just not caring at all that their ships are on fire? Hmm. I wonder, can I even fire that cannon? It doesn't seem like there's a cannonball firing thing. Then again, there are these, like... There are two levers. I wonder what this one does. The other one obviously calls a rowboat. I wonder what the point of that was. There are a lot of levers on this ship. I thought this one was going to summon another robo, but maybe it's just going to... What is even the purpose of that? I have had single levers do that. This ship is made by a madman. Uh. 
And I missed a quill, but maybe I can jump back up. Then again, it's not... The, the quills aren't the super most important thing in the world, but still. Hmm. Luckily, it didn't close behind me. Maybe I can finally do the jump, jump, headbutt? It's making a sound effect. You know, if I had done that normally without seeing the <laughs> the quill before, I would have thought that was for no reason. Because there isn't like a big fanfare of like, you got the quill. Where did you even come from? Like, you guys came from Nowheresville. Basically, literally. This better not be a timed fight. Why am I not hitting him, game? His hitbox must be crazy. Yeah, the hitboxes are just going crazy. Okay, get, get! The, the combo lock on killed me! That's just stupid. What do you mean, be careful? I did nothing wrong. The guy was jumping and decided, oh, you shall now die because game- and also, apparently, the floor going crazy affects my combos for some reason, which is unbelievably stupid. You'd think they would have play-tested this. Quit jumping around. One of these days, these are gonna open up and you'll send me tumbling to the abyss again. Maybe that'll send him to the death. But yeah, why is this entire fleet just f fighting to the death for no reason? I'm not even the one that did this. Oh, why do they do that? <laughs> why in the world do they just jump, 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 making it literally impossible to fight them? That is such a stupid mechanic. I understand why it does it, but, like, don't design this level if th that's a thing in this game. Come on. If they're just gonna jump around a lot and lead to my death, you should not make a, a mission where they jump around a lot and lead me to my death. Because I basically have to air combo them for consistent damage. Because my combos don't hit them sometimes. Okay. <sighs> this is so dumb. I hate this. This isn't a fun segment because there's just no reasonable way to do it. Let's do it. Why even have this segment? What does it add when these guys just jump around a million different places and annoy me? It's just annoying that my combos don't hit. The AI is bugging out. So I basically have to stick to ground combos. Lest the game just die on me. And even then it doesn't... <laughs> might not help because then the floor might just give way and kill me anyway.
please fall and die. So I don't have to come fight you. Because now I don't want to engage. Especially because he's on just a little, little diddly D. I'm not sure if this is like a timed mission, because how am I supposed to get to him and fight him? Game! Why are you designed like this? And then he jumps away like a bitch. Like, it'd be one thing if I could jump to him and then fight him, but no, he runs the fuck away! Why design this? Who designed this? No game! Stop! I hate you. This is just terrible design. It adds nothing. And I can't even try to air combo him. Because then he'll just drag me to my death. What do you want from me? I almost died. I, I hate you. This is stupid. This is dumb. This is just terribly designed. This means nothing in the grand scheme of things. And is just done for stupid reasons. That's it. God. Why was that designed that way? Once again, it reeks of somebody on the design team having a very specific vision for what the player needs to do, and nobody on the design team handed that to anybody else to be like, Hey, how do you think you should get through this level? That is basically it, because no sane person... Do it now, I guess I have to f get my way across again to jump out. I didn't even summon the gondola this time. It just magically appeared. Like, it could have been an interesting thing, like, <laughs> if the air combos were consistent. God damn you, camera. Get here, move camera so I can actually walk out. And here's the new ship. That last boat didn't even make any sense on how to summon this thing. At least it looks like we're heading to the final ship. But still, Jesus. That falling platform segment was just not very well designed. No. Lots of quills this level, it feels like. And of course I've been running on, oh, we'll just finish this level and then we'll end, and this is, seems to be like a super duper long level. Are you going to carry me to this other rowboat? What magic controls these rowboats? We didn't even run into the 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 parrot guy again. Okay, never mind. We have even more. I guess we're gonna fly down to this broken arena. All right, new fight. I guess it does make sense. We only damaged him twice. Sound cooler. Hmm. Oh, fuck off. 
I hate this mob mentality of these enemies. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna do this. Damage you all. Get rid of your minions and try to deal some damage to you. Apparently he didn't like that very much. Great. Alright, just don't telegraph anything, really, game. Don't give the player anything to expect. I think I have the strength to go on. Because I once again I, I hate this fucking mentality. Of like, oh no, you need to fight this enemy this way. Let me fight the goddamn boss, you assholes. Look out, world. They just They just made it very annoying. For no reason. And they don't even return my my fury attack. Which is mean. So maybe that's why I need to do use the minions to smack him, but it don't do a lot of damage. And they don't even hurt the enemies. That's mean. I guess what I need to do is use my slowdown more, but I don't know. Doesn't feel like there's just much opportunity to do anything unless it's gonna be a big ol' now you can do a billion damage to him moment. This is falling into a hero's tale, annoying design, you know, game. How many fucking lines are there? Oh, yeah, I'll just give the player one chance to hit him. Yeah, sure. Oh, this is terribly designed. <laughs> so cheesing time stop seems to be the best way. <laughs> Fire the cannon. Immediately stops firing the cannon because he recognizes what I'm trying to do. Because that's totally fair. Again, I hate the mini enemies because they're just so annoying. Especially because they have, like, no hit stun when <laughs> you're trying to hit them, which is just so annoying! Stop it! Except don't fire the cannon. It ate my double jump again! Game! Why? Why is this the goddamn boss that you want to die on, game? Game, let me play the fucking game. I want to play the goddamn game. But it doesn't want me to for some reason. I 
was jumping, you cunt of a game? I hate this! Why do they just have annoyance on the mind for this segment? It's not even difficult, it's just annoying bullshit. That shouldn't have hit me. Because <laughs> basically that's the only way to really play this boss fight. Get random hits in because the game isn't going to give you any good ones. Apparently for this segment, I can just get them to charge off, which is kind of cool. Yeah, this is basically the only way to fight this boss is to cheese him. Then I got hooked on his geometry. Am I going to somehow kill him before he gets to his first Dilly D? Yes, I am! God! What an annoying boss fight, unless you cheese it in a weird way. Now your buddy is gone. Lol. Finally, Sparks does something! <laughs> and now he's dead. Sparks killed a man. Yeah, because at least Arboric was kind of interesting in his puzzle boss aspect. But that guy was just annoying. <laughs> We're gonna pass out already. Oh no. Please tell me you're just pulling over to go to the bathroom. Oh, that's some cool art. Well, we're obviously not drowning because water is puddling beneath us. Oh, we landed on a... on a, a whale? Interesting. We landed on a whale. I guess. But yeah, the overall game is fine. It's just the boss fights are hyper-specific, it feels like. Which is just annoying. Hmm. I feel like since we saved, this will be a good place to stop, because we've been going for a long time. Look out, world! But yeah, overall, the game is very fun. It's just the boss fights are ridiculously, like, tailor-made for a specific way to beat them, and then you can still kind of cheese them in weird ways and break their AI, and that feels much more, like, intuitive to do than what the game wants you to do. Because at least the boss fights in the first game were more like, sure, they had patterns to let you get hits in, but they weren't hyper-specific. Here, they're like, ah, you have to do this or you suffer, which is just not very fun to deal with. And it's the same thing with that, like, uh, dropping platform segment, which is just very badly done, because for some reason the dropping platform's geometry messed with your ability to attack the enemies normally, so you're inclined to do air combos, but then your air combos follow them and track, leading you to fall off and die. It's just like, it feels like there was a lack of 
quality assurance in some places. Then again, I can't super duper blame them because this game did come out um, a year after the previous Legend of Spyro game, probably because EA or whoever was... Oh, I think it's EA. I think EA owned the IP at this point. I think. Well, whoever, like, whoever was super duper in charge wanted to do the same thing that, like, the original trilogy did. Where it's just like, ah, make more, make more, make more, which is just like... Considering that this is a trilogy that came out in three years, so they only really had a lot of development time for the first game to make a bunch of assets and probably plan things out, and then were ordered to put it into, like, uh... Put it into flow. Hell, I wouldn't even be surprised. Like, I don't know. It's like... Because overall, this is still fun. It just has very wonky moments where it feels like design kind of fell away. It's still much better than a hero's tale. Because there's still a way to break the bosses and take initiative. Unlike Red. Red was terrible. <laughs> Looks like you're about to get the electric breath. Yep, but we're going to save that for next time. Because we're going to do a save. Since we got to a good stopping point, at least I believe. And we've been going for a long time. Made a lot of progress. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the next stream was only like an hour and a half to two hours long because of how far we went. But, again, this is very, very fun. It does feel a little bit lesser in the story department compared to the first Spyro game, or, like, the first Legend of Spyro game, A New Beginning, because there it was setting stuff up. And here it feels like... Like, I don't know, it just feels a little bit weird... The pacing. Like, the intro is fantastic. The attack on the Sanctuary again was very cool. But I, it does feel like they're kind of wasting Cinder in this game. Because she's only had two scenes. And, like, I don't know. It just feels like the first part, like, like, oh, no, I did things I have to atone for. I must leave. Goodbye. And then the next time we see her, like, we did, like, it's set up to be... Like, maybe will it be a boss fight, or will we team up to break out of here? And then it's just, nope, it's... <laughs> she just gets kidnapped. The pirates as well are just kind of weird and out of nowhere. Which, again, I kind of joked, like, haha, Shakespeare liked to do that. Stuck in a story, have pirates kidnap your character, but... That, I think that level went on a little too long for how little it really supplied to the story. Especially with the amount of boss fights they threw in there. Which is just a, re a reuse of the train fight from the first Legend of Spyro, a kind of reskin of the Draugr fight from Legend of Spyro, and then an annoying fight against the parrot guy. And then there's just, like, lots of meandering in between. This is like, the pirate level could have been shortened a lot. Really, I feel like the pirate level could have just been the arena. It's like, I don't know. I do like that Moliere returned. Moliere is a nice little continuity now. Like, hey, these characters still exist. As well as we got a hint at Hunter... Like, ah, Hunter of Avalar, which is still cool. But although it begs the, the question of, what is Avalar in this game? <laughs> is Avalar just a landmass, the mainland, or is Avalar another world again? But yeah. Overall, the pirate level so far is the only, like, super duper kind of annoying segment. The forest was, like, a pretty good, a little... A few weird things here or there, but not terrible. The introduction level of the attack on the sanctuary was pretty cool. But yeah, the pirate level kind of felt like a drop in quality assurance. Uh, again, as well, because they obviously knew what the boss, the reused bosses were, which is kind of disappointing. 
just reuse the programming of the train for no real reason, and it felt weird. The Draugr fight was simple because I died once quickly and then I killed him quickly, so I didn't get to analyze it much. But yeah, it just felt like a filler level that lasted a bit too long. Just, I, I, It's extra hilarious because... Really... Well, then again, I guess there's actually a decent amount of story beats that happened on the pirate level, funnily enough. <laughs> like... We got the we got to meet Moliere again, which was just a nice moment. Like, hey, these characters exist. Hunter from Avalar gets introduced through letter, so that's an important story bit. We meet up with Cinder again, even if it's only for five seconds, and then she gets kidnapped away, which is kind of lame. And then the only bit left story wise is finding a the map to know where we're going. And that didn't even really play much of a role, because he barely got a glimpse of it. <coughs> so yeah, we'll definitely have to see how the rest of the game goes, but the pirate level definitely feels lesser overall. Still better than A Hero's Tale, I would say. More engaging, more interesting. Even the boss fight, like... The boss fight was very annoying and weird. Still better than both of Red's boss fights from A Hero's Tale. <laughs> Which is just sad for A Hero's Tale, but hey. But overall, still having fun. Just the quibbles I have with it are on a bigger scale. And the story doesn't... Well, then again, it'll depend on how far the story goes next time. How much story is left. Considering that the... This, it seems like I would estimate where maybe we missed like three or so quills. We might be halfway through because overall we have five masks and that means there are five masks left. And if we presume that we missed tw uh, three quills, that means there's 20 quills left. So maybe we're only halfway through. So maybe this game's a little longer than a new beginning. We'll have to wait and see. It's mostly just the fact that uh, since we're about to get the last breath, it feels like we're nearing the end. So it could be that I missed more masks than I thought and missed more quills than I thought. Which I also gotta say, it's cool that those are included. They're a nice little thing. I feel like the health and magic breath collectibles are a bit more important and uh, big, big. But the quills, I like the quills because they're a nice thing to collect and go for. But they're not terrible if you miss. It's not like, ah, if you see it as you move on to another segment. So yeah. So far, if I gave, like, uh, a, a new beginning, like, uh, an 8 or 8.5, so far this is probably a 7 or 7.5. Mostly because the quibbles are much, much more compared to a new beginning. But overall, I do like the things they changed with the breath so far. Except for, like, eh, even the, uh, the earth, like, flail. The earth flail is a cool idea, it just doesn't do enough damage from what I felt. Then again, maybe they expect you to upgrade it, but considering the value you get from fire or ice already at their base level, they feel more enticing to level up compared to the Earth Flail. So who knows, maybe Earth Flail is broken at level tier 3, maybe it's bad all around. But I do like that they change things up with the breaths, give each one more of an identity, change things up so they're not all breaths. I do like that the combat seems a bit more involved, a bit more fast-paced. But uh, the, the minor enemies, the small enemies, are a bit more annoying. Because it feels like they attack faster and have har like hardly any hit stun to help you with. But overall, I still really like it. Still really like it. Still much better than Enter the Dragonfly in a Hero's Tale. Uh, once again, I like uh, so far, I mostly just wish that there was more story. But at the, at the same time... Like, I guess there is a little less story compared to a brand new beginning so far. Because in a brand new beginning, we had to get the Spyro getting moses the backstory on the Dark Forces, and Cinder joining. Like, Spyro and Sparks leaving their family to go on this adventure. But then after we get to Ignitus and get, like, a the backstory 
then it's very much like, ooh, go save dragon, go save dragon, go save dragon. But... Hmm. It does feel like the, like, uh, forest level, the kind of forest swamp level, fell, feels a bit lesser compared to... I guess it's more... Com the, the forest level is kind of comparable to the Draugr land of the first game. Because <coughs> in the first game, you had that, like, frozen, eternally war planescape as the first level to go save a dragon. And the forest is the first level you go to follow the Chronicler's words. And they both kind of have the same, not really a lot happens. And then a lot of story did happen on the pirate ship, even if the pirate ship stuff was kind of wonky and weird in design. And uh, da -da. what was the level after Draugrland? I think it was the Floating Islands, of which there also wasn't really much story to go around. It was mostly like the leader guy, like, ah, I don't like you, stay out of my business, until you beat <laughs> Arboric's stone cousin, I guess. Actually, I just realized, out of all the boss fights we've had, only one is original so far. Because Arboric was a, a pseudo-clone of the Stone Guardian God guy. The boat, like, was the train, and the Executioner was the Draugr King again. Just mildly modified each time. Which is a little worrisome? But we'll have to see. We will have to see. Once again, still having fun. Just little bit weirdness going on here. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how the... Because if the story lands, I think it'll we'll bump it up quite a bit. Because story is important for me. So I hope, like... We, well, I hope that we meet up with Cinder again. And actually have more conversations. Because <laughs> I think that Cinder so far has had about the same amount of lines... That she had in A New Beginning. Which is sad because she only really existed in the latter half of A New Beginning. And even then only spoke at the tail end, like last hour to 30 minutes of the game. And here she's existed since the beginning. And she's only had two scenes to talk and hardly any lines still. But we'll have to see. I'm still enjoying the game. I like the, like, I also like the little animations. The little, I just realized the idle animations are very cute. And I guess I'll quickly touch on Sparks. Sparks feels a little weird. Ever so slightly. It could be that they changed from David Spade, so it's a little getting used to it. Because... At the very least, he does, like, step up a bit. When Spyro passed out once, he, like, 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 uh, when the pirate guys were first introduced, he did distract them until Spyro woke up. And then when Spyro passed out, he did try to kind of buy time again. Even if he is kind of a jerk. But, hey, he punched out the, the stereotypical black man parrot, I guess. But, yeah, overall... It just feels a little weird in some places, but it's still quite fun. Still quite fun. Also, I just realized they're introducing Hunter of Avalar in the second Legend of Spyro game. Much like Hunter get, gets introduced in the second Insomniac Spyro game. I wonder if we'll have Alora in this game. Probably not. Which is kind of interesting. Alora was the main, like point of contact in the second Spyro game, but then for some reason Hunter is the one that just returns eternally. It's just, I don't know, kind of interesting. But yes, we shall continue this next time, which should be on Monday at uh, Monday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, because I'm trying to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And we will see uh, how much game we can get through. If it'll be only a little bit or if there will be still a decent amount. Because, again, having lots of fun, just more minor quibbles than, than usual. 
But anyway, if you want more from me, everything that I do can be found in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicewings, or direct links in any bio, description, or link place of the various sites. I have my edited content YouTube channel there, my streaming YouTube channel that all of these streams are then uploaded to after the fact, or my Twitch streaming, if that is more your speed. And if you want other things from me, like my art, similar to my little character in the corner, you can find me uploading art to the various websites like Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Blue Sky, all over the place, different sites. And if you want to read some stories I've doff written, I do write a little bit, it's quite fun, you can find some writing resources plugged into my link tree as well. I need to write more. I need to make more progress. Mm, and for the absolutely affluent among the viewership of me, my Patreon is also linked in there. So if the people are in a good place and want to feel generous throwing a few dollar dues my way, then you can. But yes, but yes... This is still very fun, a little bit uh, just different and aggravating in some places, but still a lot of fun. And I can't wait to see what the Eternal Night has in store for us next time. But yes, remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. Bye, bye.